2018 Ooh. Jazz Hands. What's up, people? We are live. Look, Babyface is here. Kevin Dixie is here. Going we, got, we got Walter. Up, people? Walter's we here. Well, some, someone someone yeah. doesn't have their headsets on. Someone, yeah. Someone's echoing. We are oh, live. Me, man. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. There we go. Okay, I hope you got your big girl 2018 size panties on. We are live from the Big Daddy Gun Studios Cheers. in Gainesville, Florida. This is episode 116, the first one of 2018. What's up to everyone out there in the world? What's up to all the people that have been patiently waiting for us to come back and come on? I hope you guys had a great Christmas, a great New Year's. Tell us what you did. I would love to see it in the uh, in the chat here to see yeah. what everyone got up to. And what kind, uh, what kind of Christmas presents you get? Yeah, what kind of Christmas presents did you get? Um, hopefully, you got lots of guns. Guns, yeah. Okay. But it didn't have to just be guns. It could be other stuff. It could be gold to buy guns. It could be Bitcoin so that you can buy guns. Maybe you got like gift cards so you can buy guns. <laughs> A Bitcoin so you can send it to me. <laughs> yeah, Walter will take your bitcoins gladly. So, uh, and we're gonna go through the panel here and chat with everyone and see what's going on. We have a lot of things we're gonna talk about tonight. Specifically, I wanted to talk about the Glock 19X. <laughs> well, speaking of Glock, I, some, I saw on the firearms blog, and I'm still going to the firearms blog, regardless uh, of what happened to Patrick R. It looks like the Chicoms are knocking it off too. Oh, really? They're, they're straight up off the 19X. Straight up copy of the of the I think maybe the 17. So. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I don't know. I don't check the firearms blog anymore. I'm going to I'm going to like wean myself off the firearms blog for a little while. We'll talk about the truth about guns around here from now on. I'm not very happy with blogs that want to censor the news instead of reporting the news. Well, you hear what happened? What's going on in Pakistan, too? Um, OK, we'll check. We'll talk about that. We'll go into all those things. Like I said, folks, let us know what's going on with you. First of all, I want to say what's up to everyone on the panel. Babyface, look at that face. He's just too serious right now. I don't know <laughs> what the to, hell Babyface is up Babyface, to. Babyface, have a beer, man. To, have a beer. Yeah, I need you. I'm trying to read at the same time. It's not working. <laughs> Happy New Year, my friend. What the Happy hell is going New on? Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> so wait, wait. I got to get my custom. I got to get my ceremonial picture in the background. Oh, there oh, it there is. There you go. There you go. Uh, you still got your lights up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think these are going anywhere anytime soon. Yeah, it's those are never coming down. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, wait. Oh, oh there, there we go. There we go. Lights. Man so. cave. It's got to have lights. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. What did you do? Tell the folks out there what you did for the Clint, holidays. Um, what did I do for the holidays? We went to stay with my parents for Christmas and Christmas Eve. <clears throat> and then New Year's, we spent with some friends. Uh, besides that, I, uh, we, I just relaxed as much as I could. I took a whole bunch of time off of work. Um, I had a bunch of PTO that I had to take or it wouldn't roll over into the next year. So I was like, yeah, I was like, no, oh, okay, I'll take some. If you're going to force me to take some time off, I'll take some time off. <laughs> oh, okay. So you, that, that's balling. That's yeah, balling. So you, work on, you work on some projects then, right? I did. I got a bunch of stuff done. Um, I got another project that I got to get done, not gun related. I'm building a rocking chair, a rocking chair, a rocking oh. horse for some friends of mine who had a baby six months ago. Oh, cool. Um, it's a AT AT. Uh, ah. Or as some people call it, an at at from Star Wars. No, oh wow, that's but, awesome! That's so who, yeah, who, so I'm, I'm I've never seen a rocking horse like that. I'll link it. You can see it. It's pretty well soon. Yeah, yeah. So we'll get a thing of that. All right, let's go down and see what uh, Kevin's up to. Look, Kevin's got like a new backdrop. Look at that! All enforce all up in her. <laughs> no. Well, I'm, I'm moving the whole little setup downstairs in the basement. So until um, I get kicked out properly, I was forced into a corner. In a dark corner. Uh, yeah. So, so it looks a little different. I, yeah, I had to make the best of it, you know. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah. Right. Um, but no, I mean it was good. Um, I know we'll um we'll show presents later, but the wife was wonderful to me. Oh, um, good lord. We are gonna show presents. Okay. Ooh, yeah. She was good to you. Oh, yeah, she was getting nice. <laughs> Man, it was really nice. Um uh and it, it distracted me so much. I was actually supposed to be breaking down one of my um SIGs and sending it uh to people to do things with peoples and peoples. I got totally distracted from that uh, because it was so nice. Um, uh, traveling was nice. I was uh, south down in Mississippi for a few days during the winter, so that was that was nice. And um, I don't know, man, it was good. It was it was good. I I kicked off last year with a bunch of um, motivation. I started kicking people in the butts. I don't like New Year's resolutions. I'm like, no, it's the 28th. You need to get up off your butt and make something happen. So we don't have to wait till the New Year. So I don't know. It was fun though. You're ended well, and the year is starting great. Yeah. 
Yeah. Awesome. I don't think you deserved any of those presents, but whatever. We'll, we will show the presents. Oh, you want to get jealous? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you got them sitting there. You're going to see them. Yes, yesterday, I received the package from Safety Harbor. Now, Walter's going to try to take credit for it, but it said Peggy. So, um, <laughs> well, you know That's what the box because says. his middle name is Peggy. Little right, Peggy. Okay. I'm a little Peggy, yeah. Did it look right, like I did that? get a, a beautiful, wonderful gift basket from them, and I do appreciate that. So that that uh, I'm humbled by that. So I can't wait to show that off. Awesome, very cool. Yeah, we'll talk about that too. Okay, let's go down the line here and see what's up with Walter. Walter, how was your um, um, holiday festivities? Um, good. Um, we went to New Orleans, New Orleans to to see some of uh, family, um, and do the New Orleans New Orleans thing. I can't talk for some reason. I only had one beer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, Walter was drinking Heineken's before you know. I still drinking am. and podcasting. I guess I still am. Okay. Oh, okay. So you didn't even really, you didn't even really have a full Heineken yet. Oh yeah, I did. Oh, you did. Oh, there's an empty one. Yeah, oh empty my one goodness. Already, you know. Oh, there's still a little bit at the bottom of that glass. Oh well, damn it. There you go. Oh, now there ain't none left over. Um, by the way, Walter's uh, New Year's resolution to stop drinking. <laughs> it's already been broken. <laughs> Good luck for that. <laughs> I don't do that resolution thing, you know. Yeah, I um, to get more fat. <laughs> tactical. Mm -hmm. Tactical. Yeah, more tactical fat up in here. Um, so, yeah, we went to New Orleans, did that thing. Um, had, a, had a grand old time. Um, and let me see. Came back. Got back. Um, on last last Friday, so we did New Year's here. New Year's was quiet at the house. I posted a little bit on Facebook of us all sitting around the fire. Um, I was I was nodding out before New Year's actually, but I was awake <laughs> when the midnight came. So yeah, um, that's cool. So yeah, it was it was, uh, it was it was all right. But now it's back to work because there's a ton of crap to do. So yeah, absolutely. It's a yeah. little. I know it's a little tough to get back to work here. Yeah. Um, we did. We had to start back up the podcast because people were like, "When the hell is the podcast is coming back?" Anonymous Strange was the biggest person harassing the living crap out of me every <laughs> single day from when we did episode one fifteen. The next yeah. day, he was like, "Yeah, so when when's the podcast coming back?" I was like. <laughs> I'm going. I'm taking a winter break, and so he was like, "Okay." Then the next day he called When's me. The then the next day. Me? Then the next day. Then the next day. That's because he loves you. That's why. Yeah. Uh, no, that's because he wants the podcast back. <laughs> so he was like, "Yeah, what's up?" And and actually, we didn't put out any other videos because we really took a break. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on here, Big Daddy Guns, which I'll talk to you guys a little bit about later what i can talk to you about um we actually have to move out of this space here uh -oh. we're moving like right next door we're moving into um like what is supposed to be in our studios that we should have moved into which so we got to do that sometime soon and there's a ton of other things going on here so as well like i said we're going to talk about the uh glock the uh 19x i've got some other things in the news i want to yep. talk about it's cold as hell out there you all going to have to explain that Glock thing to me. Yeah, all right? oh, we will. We will do that. First, though, first, though, I want to, um, one, I want to ask everyone that's watching right now to click the thumbs ups button. Let's get the yeah, thumbs ready? ups going and all that. Let's, let's get it generated. Let folks out there know that we're back. Um, please share this with your friends and family on social media if you have those. I've shared out some stuff. So if you look on our Facebook page, you can, if you don't know what to uh, write or post when you're sharing it, you can share what I've post it up on Facebook and I think I put something on Twitter or you can put up your own things and use your hashtags like jazz hands, big girl panties, hashtag cow cocky. That was, <laughs> you know, we're, we're going to keep that going in 2018. We're going, we're going. Yeah. Hashtag who moves my freedom, hashtag strangeaholics, uh, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Hashtag wise. And before we get into talking about stuff here, I would like to shout out everyone. Looks like Vanessa Kitty, was number one for the new year. She literally came in and I was typing, I'm number one, but Vanessa <laughs> Kitty was already in there. She said, happy new years. Hope your holidays went well. They did. Thank you. How was yours, Vanessa? Also, Tango Hunter, what's going on? Tango Hunter is also in the building. Um, Tango Hunter said, Warsaw loves Glocks, especially it's the Glock. X. Yeah, the X-19. <laughs> Where is, is, Actually, is he in here? Warsaw, are you in here? We had to like mention you for the Glocks because we know. I am. I'm very interested in that, actually. Oh, you're interested? Okay. Yeah. 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 So that's why, will... I got, that's why you got to explain it to me because I don't quite get what they're trying to do. So. Yeah. So Tango Hunter says he doesn't know if it's true or not, but someone had a live stream and they said Tula might be banned. So one of you guys what? needs to look that up. So Walter, Tula ammo? 
Yeah. Um, look oh, that up, Walter. Bad. Let's see. Right now, that's fake news, folks. Okay. Oh. It's not fake news that it's cold outside. At this point, until we verify it, we don't know what's going on with that. Uh, Vanessa Kitty says she's eating an MRE. <laughs> May the force be with you. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a good New Year or what. Gorillas and Guns is in here. So what's up to Gorillas and Guns? Let me go through Chris Bullis. He says Happy New Year. Um, uh, Kentucky Firearms also made it. What's up? How was your How was your holidays, my friend? Uh, let's see who else. I'm going to try to scroll down through and go through this. The Archangel is in the building. DC2 Mega Boost. Oh, he says, uh, we're back at it again. What's up to everyone from DC2 Mega Boost? Back in the saddle again. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy getting in there. Uh, Matt Morse is in here. So he says, Happy New Year to everyone. And I'm going to eat in front um, of y'all, too. So. Oh, that's okay. You can go ahead and do it. It's the first one. Or, you know, I'll do it all the time. Joe, Don't yeah. matter. Joe Carpenter, he says, Happy New Year. Uh, says, can't wait to stay home tomorrow and get the snow off my driveway. Uh, where are you? I, I forgot right now. So let us know where you are and how much snow you got. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, opt out of gun control also in here. What's up, people? Peter Hinkle. Hinkle. Um, yeah, he says, we've been gone a while. Yeah, we did take a little, you know, we took a little bit of a break. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. MW Tacticals also. What's going on, MW wow. Tactical? Nice to take a break every once in a while. Yeah, I think so. Absolutely. Uh, David G also in here. Rick Day. He says he was number 12. <laughs> he says hashtag 12. Oh, you're number oh, one. Number 12. You're number, you're 12. number one, GI. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. He's either counting down. Uh, E-Rock is also in here. Micro Jupiter 78. Cody Phillips. Uh, Subis Subicio Kofi? Kofi Annan. I didn't know yeah, Kofi, Kofi Annan was here. He says, uh, uh, hello, happy new year. Yeah, Kofi is actually a name. Um, from, uh, that's from Lola's people. Kofi. Oh, it is? So that's where Kofi Annan was yeah. from? Yeah, Kofi means, typically, it means uh, son born on Friday, right, Lola? Oh, I thought if he were in the UN, it meant big thief. But, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kofi Annan was from Ghana. That's where Lola well, yeah, was. Oh, yeah, he was probably a big thief, too. So Yeah, so there you go. Um, Kal-El says, happy new year, folks. So uh, let's see. Let's go through Highway Run 77 also in here. Mr. Runyon, he says his water lines were frozen for two days. Oh, that sucks. Wow, yeah. I didn't. Did you get, did anyone here get their water lines frozen? Nope. My furnace wow. went out, though. So I just got yeah. that back today. Yo, what went out, Kevin? Your furnace went out. Your furnace? furnace? Oh, mm -hmm. dear. Oh, oh God. Boy. Yeah. Uh, what, kind of, what kind of temperatures do you guys have? I mean, I know you're all uh, used the, to it. The day the furnace went out, it was negative four. Whoa! Yeah. What the hell are you sipping? Are you sipping like hypnotic out of this glass? Because whatever <laughs> you, you have in there is blue. Hey, it's like, well, hey, what was hypnotic? What was that? Um, Hennessy and um, what was that? I forgot. But no, this is um, Hawaiian punch. Oh, okay. Uh, Hawaiian, Hawaiian punch and beautiful. And and <laughs> Damn, man! I, you get the Kevin. You get the award for the most logoed up person. <laughs> In existence. <laughs> you are like a freaking NASCAR driver, man. <laughs> hey, can I can I get sponsored by Heineken? I'll take that one. You know? uh, sure. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. They probably yeah, got that'd be awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, listen, I, I Heineken. Know, listen, Heineken. Listen, Heineken. Watches. Yeah. If they're watching, uh, please sponsor us. Thank you. Yeah, I drink responsibly. Yeah. Cody Phillips says he got two polymer eighty lowers. That's awesome. Babyface, are oh, we supposed to be doing a video on this? We got some in the works. Yeah, well, you have one over there, don't you? You don't uh, have one if you do you. No, I don't have it. I don't uh, have it. Uh, yeah, what's up? What's over up, there Walter? Hank has. Polymer 80. You know, I, I bought I bought that last one that I got on special at Brownells. And now those folks at Brownells have it cheaper now. Do uh, how by how much? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's one fifteen right now, I think, for a What'd for you a pay thing. Before? I think I paid like one twenty something. Oh. Okay. I was gonna okay. say a, a yeah, lot yeah. of times if you bought it on a credit card, at least for my credit card, it, you can go back and do a um a price match. My my Chase card does a like oh yeah thirty day or sixty day price match guarantee. I don't know if it's worth it for twenty bucks. Yeah, maybe I'm not gonna. Yeah. Exactly, no, I, but I just I just saw it and I was like, those dirty dogs. I I did it with my Beretta, so I bought my M nine A three for like eleven $1 hundred dollars. And then a, a website put it on sale for nine fifty. 
That's so I was idea. like, I'm going to price match. 150 bucks is worth it. Yeah. That's worth yeah. It, yeah. Uh, I tell you what, when the guys from Brownells come on, you can totally complain to them all you want. Now, to. let me just give you a little heads up here. I also have a question here. I, uh-huh. I, I, I'm signing up to be a dealer with Polymer 80, 80 right? Nice. Mm-hmm. And uh, which is no big deal. You just fill out some applications and stuff. But they have a, uh, you know, manufactured suggested retail price like agreement thing, which is like 149 Mm-hmm. So how does uh, the big B get away with it? Um, because they are the big. Because they are brown elves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, how do they have their own special? Uh, yeah, because they have exclusives. <laughs> yeah, so they can, yeah, yeah, yeah. They have exclusives. Which you know, that's probably like the 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 buying power, right? Maybe they're buying those things up front. Well, yeah, I have no clue. We'll find they're, out. They're not paying what I would pay for it. I can guarantee you that. So. Yeah, yeah. We'll find out from them when they come on, and we, we can ask them that. No, I, I did. I, go ahead. I understand all that stuff. I'm not going to. Yeah. I th- I saw them over the break. I don't know if I saw you guys since I saw them, but somewhere no. over the break, I actually did a top secret project that I cannot talk about. <laughs> Except beyond, you did a top secret project with Yeah. Them. Beyond it's like a top secret thing. That okay. I can't say anything. I understand. About it. We at this before. yet. Huh? What? I, huh? Anyway, so I did something with them, and I was talking to them about the rally because everyone keeps asking about the rally yeah. to Brownells. They are actually very, very excited about that. So oh, that's going to cool. be Good. huge. It's going to be huge. So it's are gonna you going to get the biggest the huge, rally ever? Are you going to get the huge credit for for bringing this thing on, or are you going to get uh, like? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not super concerned about that. But yeah, I mean, they they um they like the idea, so that's a good thing, right? So that's happening. As a matter of fact, it's going international, baby. Oh, really? And by international, I mean national. <laughs> we don't like the whole country. <laughs> Have we? Um, did we? Did you? Um, I don't know if you remember. Remember the weekend I recommended for that? Um, yeah, I think we've got to we've got to pin down the date. But actually, Brownells is pretty excited about it. There's probably going to be uh, quite a few companies jumping on board with that. So that's going to be really big. But we're not going to have a lot of details for you guys anytime soon. I am going to try to get Brownells guys to come on, but we can't really um, lock in those details until after SHOT Show. That's just like a thing that's going on. Everyone's yeah. super focused on SHOT yeah, Show we're happening. Ready for shot too, so. yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we got to keep that, keep that focus going. So um, uh, hey. Micro Jupiter says big boy guns. Um, I'm not sure what that. Oh, he showed his muscles, the big boy guns. There you go. Oh, you can check out the man guns. Oh, yeah. The big hey, guns. another thing, too. I don't want anybody to leave the Who Moved My Freedom podcast. OK, don't leave. However, when you see me disappear around 7, 730, it's because I'll be doing NRA TV for like 10 minutes. Then I'll be back. Oh, OK. Oh, <laughs> oh you're going on live with Coleone? Yeah, I got to go. We're going to do the recap of uh, uh, season six of the Noir show. So. Oh, sweet. OK, awesome. Yeah. So if you do see Kevin go um, open another window, damn it. There you go. <laughs> but don't leave. Don't close this window. Yeah, don't drop off. Don't yeah. do that. Yeah. And don't forget to thumbs up. So I see we got we got like 90 something people. I think we got like 90 something people watching. Let's get that up to 100. Thumbs up it. Share it. Um, I'm not even sure. Someone should be in charge of how many thumbs ups we've got so far because I don't know. And you guys can also go and click the thumbs ups. Baby 64. Face. I did already. Know it. Yeah. Right. Everyone click the thumbs ups. That was number that 32, going. by the way. Yeah, uh, Mr. Bull, Mr. Bullshitter says, uh, "What's up, everyone? Wasn't expecting the podcast to be back for another week." Yeah, so we're oh, back. Well, yeah. See, there you go. Someone's happy that we're back, and he thinks it's early. So there you go. Um, 904s, 904s says, "Kevin, when you go on Colin Noir, give him a shout out." Um, <laughs> yeah, ask ask Colin Noir, Kevin, when you go over there, if he's gonna have like. A redneck corner or something? A red corner? <laughs> <laughs> you know, does he need some kind of redneckery for the show? <laughs> 904s. <laughs> Steve would be oh, totally dear. happy to fill that. The that oh, you're volunteering 904, huh? <laughs> yeah, because Steve said when, when Kevin goes on to give him a shout out. Some redneckery. <laughs> some redneckery. Listen, everybody needs a little bit of redneckery in their life, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm glad to be uh, having this laugh today. Who I needed this. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he needs uh, some shine to go with that. You got some moonshine or something to go with that too? Uh, <laughs> got some hypnotic apparently. Yeah. <laughs> AKA Hawaiian Punch. Yeah, give him a shout out from us. Hopefully we're still invited to the NRA annual meeting. Uh, Who knows? You better shout us out when you go over there. 
You better say, hey, Cole Noir, I'm on <laughs> right now. I'm simultaneously on the Who Moved My Freedom podcast that you're supposed to be bringing, bringing your butt and coming on now. Well, yeah. That would probably work a whole lot better if I just told him that. <laughs> oh. Have you? And Hank, Hank knows these people. Hank knows these people called these these really, really, really sweet, but yet uh, neck crunching people called producers. No. Oh. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you listen to the order. <laughs> but no, I, I have been. A, I had honestly, you know, real, real talk, like no jokes. I, that was one of the things I wanted for uh, 2018. Um, I want to. I kind of want to do it, but I want to plan it. But I do want to see if I can get him convince him to come crash the show. I don't yeah, know if he can awesome. do half hours, but if he can do like. You know, thirty minutes. They got to be awesome. Yeah, we've invited him on. He likes Lola. I don't know what he really feels about me, but I uh, I know that Lola put some pressure, and so I was on Colin Noir live for like two seconds, a millisecond. Well, you last year, huh? You it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, oh, I'm totally happy. Totally happy to be on there. Um, I am. Be, regardless of what anyone thinks, I actually am a big fan of Colin Noir. I think he's a cool dude. So even though sometimes we fight with the NRA or we complain about them or whatever, you know, we. Yeah. The funny part is everybody that's complaining about the NRA is going to be at the NRA convention. Yeah. Every because because the NRA convention is the best one so far until someone well, makes a better convention. Well, well, yeah, the, the, <laughs> that's, well, that's, yeah. that's my favorite convention to go to. Yeah, it is. It is nice. It is. Man. It's nice. It's really relaxed. Yeah. Everybody yeah. chill. Yeah. Yeah. And we're not just trying to kiss butt because Kevin's going on there. We honestly like we, you know we call it like it is, man. We get in trouble sometimes. I don't know if I should even talk about that, but sometimes we get in trouble. Like there's some companies that get mad at us when we say what we feel. But guess what? We started this so we can say whatever the hell well, we feel, that's, that's and life we don't really city. give a shit about the companies that don't like it, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they can suck on our burl. <laughs> <laughs> As far as we care about that, you know what? But, if you if you make a good product or back up your product if it fails, because things break, that's okay. Back up your product when it fails, admit your mistakes, and take care of your consumer and believe in the two A. You can't go wrong. Once you start diverting from those things, that's when people start, yeah. you know, hounding you. Yeah. Um, uh, well, okay, that wasn't what that wasn't what I was talking about. There's a company that was mad at us because we said something about Jaeger, so they decided oh, they they'd jump on that trying to like. Uh, you know, that's, that's their new cause now. Yeah, so they're mad at us because we said something about it. I don't. Wow. I don't really care. Uh, I don't life. even care enough to say who it is. But screw those guys anyway. No, so there right. you go. Um, we've got plenty of people that still want to be part of what's going on. So yeah. Um, the Warsaw Patriot says, "I may not like Glock, but I do like a product hat." Oh, what was that? What is it? My AK. You guys want to hear? Oh, he says he likes a product that's for his AK. So I don't know. Let us know what that is. Uh, I carry my revolver in single action. Wants to know who likes the Glock 19X by show putting their hands up. So on this panel here, who? Okay, Babyface went. So I can say right now, I don't think Babyface likes it. He'll be back in a second. I gotta know the details. What's so special about it? That's I know. I know. So I know. So when they put up against Sig in the trials or something, wasn't it like it's, that? Or? It's a, are we are you ready to talk about a Hank? Yeah, switching? I guess yeah. Let's jump into. I mean, it's it. got let's the seventeen frame and the nineteen what? slide, or the nineteen slide and the seventeen oh, frame. I don't know. What it is is a seventeen with a nineteen slide. So it's got the the grip length of a seventeen and the slide uh, profile of a nineteen. A longer slide or shorter? Is that longer? Shorter or shorter? Slide. It's got the shortest shorter slide of a nineteen on the frame of a seventeen. So you got the full size capacity ammo wise for right. a shorter frame. Yeah. Right. Okay. So Kevin, since you you have like probably a limited amount of time, what do you think about it? Um, I think the 19X is, I mean, I, I've known a lot of guys to chop up their Glocks to do the same thing. Absolutely, yeah. So it, it's not shocking me that Glock yeah. answered with that. Uh, I know it was made for the military trials. I can see why they would want something with a shorter uh, shorter length, but a, a grip, because they had to make a grip that accommodated um, women and men. Um, and, you know, they had to make it flexible and something new and different. They just couldn't throw a 17 out there and say, yeah, make this your gun. So I think that it's I haven't touched one yet, in, in all honesty. Um, but gotcha. from looking at it, I like the idea that they I like the color. I like the yeah, color, too. Yeah, actually. I think it's, cool. That is a cool thing that they decided to put out from Glock a different color. But this yeah. was what I posted on my stuff. I don't know if you guys could see it. Basically, Glock put up a thing said coming soon, even though it's already been leaked out. And I said, uh, coming soon, a new Glock, same as the old Glock. I mean, I, well, I yeah, don't know yeah, what yeah. else we I don't know what else we should expect from Glock. They don't really take chances. 
you know, if you were if you were expecting to see that, you know, 2018, 2019 um next level gun from Glock, well, don't hold your breath well, on that one. I don't Once know, again, it, it's, it's kind of now, oh, I will say this. Kudos to them because they put uh out the box night sight metal night sights on it. That's all. So you don't have the plastic inserts anymore. You actually got metal knights. Yeah, I mean, because basically this is what was in the trials, right? These were all right. the things for the trials. So they didn't get through on the trials, and they decided to put it out there. I'm not trying to knock it so far as to say don't buy it. If you want to buy it, buy it. But what's... I can't see 745 for color and night sight, but that, anyways. Uh... I think people are going to buy it because it's a Glock. Oh, they will. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I, mean, I think Glock will never get, like Glock has things that they can do, and they're just not gonna, you know, they're they're in a position that they can just roll out these slow upgrades, and um, I think though, I think that's why other people are eating into their market. Like, you know, you got Smith and Wesson getting in there, you know, CZ's getting in there because they're just refusing to do to really, you know, push the boundaries a little bit. Just I got a new barrel in that thing. I know it's got a different barrel in it. Because it's supposed to hold tighter groups at 25 meters. It's got the is nice it a new barrel or the Gen it's 5 a, it's, barrel? It's an improved barrel. It's an improved Isn't barrel. Is that what the Gen 5 barrel is? No, this one's supposed to be a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, by the way, they did come out with two new Gen 5 guns. The uh, Glock 26 is going to have a Gen 5 version, and the Glock 34 MOS is also going to have a Gen 5 version. So that is on right now. That is on the truth about guns, which doesn't like hide the news or anything like that. So far as we know, <laughs> uh, <dear. laughs> like some other places that try to suppress what's going on in the in the gun world. Go ahead, Kevin. You were saying something. Uh, yeah, so we lost I mean, babyface. I guess it depends if you're if you're gonna like. If you're, okay, so seven forty five forty. If you're getting an improved burrow to hold tighter groups at distance. I'm back. If you're getting um. Um, you know, the night sights upgrades with the, the metal night sights. That's a big deal. Um, the color. The color is nice. I mean, what would you pay for Cerakote? So 745. Um, yeah, and, and if you, by the way, if you Cerakote, if you do any, if you do any modifications to a Glock, it's technically no longer under the, the warranty. Technically. So I know there's some companies that put out other colors. Mm -hmm. So yeah. technically, if it, that's not what Glock put out. So this is like put out by Glock. If that yes. means anything, to technically, anybody. modify so, I mean, anybody's what, gun. You're not in a warranty. What would so. you pay if you bought yeah. a standard? Let's say I know this is a 17, 19 kind of mash, but let's say you bought a 19, right? Off the brand new off the store right now, Gen 5 19. You went out and put a mash grade barrel in it. You put night sights on it, and you seracoded it. What are you spending? Probably about the same amount. <laughs> oh yeah, you have so the same amount. It, yeah, it's kind of like. I, I get it. So I don't think the price is unfair. I just like it's a 19 with a 17. I, I don't know, man. It, Thank you. I wouldn't like go Thank drop 800 bucks on it. Yeah, That's I, what I think. I think it's like, why don't why do I want a short slide with a long grip? Like I want the opposite of that. I want a regular size grip with a longer slide, longer sight radius. I, I think some people more want that. Some people want that, like Kevin was saying. My brother Anonymous was actually excited about this, so he's going to be bummed. Yeah. That I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think it's um, terrible. I think it's a yeah. terrible market. Baby decision. face also doesn't terrible. think, but Kevin likes it. Terrible. Roger, what do you do? You think terrible. it's terrible? It's all right. It's cool. It's okay. I'm not going to pay seven forty five for it, but you got to let the you got to let the newness wear off, and then things mm -hmm. will settle down, and then and you I, get it one. Yeah. And I'm saying that the balance on it. This is where a few people I know that have held it, and I think uh, Such did a video on it as well. He said the same thing. Uh, that the balance for whatever that means when you take that little weight off the front with that longer grip it uh, Apparently that's helping out with the balance of the gun So it's helping get those repeated shots on target as well. So if that's the truth I mean, th 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 I would call that an improvement. Yes, sweetheart. You want to show me your hair? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see your hair oh, See we can't we can't see the cute. <laughs> oh, you want, oh, you want to say hi? The new format doesn't show us the cuteness. Oh, uh, let me I got to move stuff to let her in here oh, so you I got thrown in a corner I'm yeah. in. Oh, me, look Walter's getting food. Walter's got food. What what kind of food you get, Walter? Jambalaya. Jambalaya. Oh, okay. Still in. Oh, there's the cuteness. Oh, the cuteness. <laughs> Happy New Year. Hey. Happy New Year. Hi. Happy New Year. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> why are you being bashful? Yeah. What? What is? Why? Oh, is that the is that the mute button on your dad? <laughs> <laughs> Say hi. If you're gonna be over here. Hi. And say Happy New Year. To them, I you already said it to me. <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Thank you. Yep. Yep. 
the, all the compliments that you get, and you're not even going to look at the camera. <laughs> I hope your dad got you some nice Christmas presents. I hope Christmas what did you get wasn't Christmas? all about your dad to, this year. Oh, uh, you can't remember all the things that you got for Christmas? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, Come on. Um, what was the thing no. that you were playing with that you never get off of? Paint? No. <laughs> Your tablet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got a tablet, an iPad. She got a she got a Kindle Fire, a Kindle Ooh, okay, cool. nice. Fire cool. thing, and uh, but she wanted an iPhone X. I don't know where she got that idea. So <laughs> let me ask this: I an iPhone X? Oh, good, <laughs> good ask, good ask. Why no. did you get her the iPhone? You are evil. No, we, first of all, we're an Android family. All right, that's blast. Well, that's the first reason why you're evil, right there. Okay, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever. The second reason is I don't I don't know, man. It's a whole different thing. I don't believe in kids having cell phones. Oh, know. it okay. is a distraction. Yeah. Um, okay, so let me ask a question. I don't know if anyone else is wondering this, but what is up with this red rider, red riding hood hat that the cuteness always has? Is this like her trademark, nice, man? Is that her? Is that her trademark, or what? What's the deal with that? Do you have a red, you have a red hat because Daddy likes red? No, it's a bonnet. It's a bonnet. Okay, it looks. It makes you look like a little Red Riding Hood. Did my mama do my hair. Oh, I like how she says her. her I see that this runs in the family. <laughs> she said, when my mama does my hair. Do you make fun of you? No. Yeah. <laughs> you before that to That's because you're cute. That's because you're cute. That's why we're making fun. Well, of say you. thank you for all the compliments you're getting. Say thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You just want to be in my face for no reason. Give me some kisses. <laughs> Daddy love you. Oh, Why by you? the way, it's 732. I don't know how your timing is going. <laughs> Violence, lady. Come on. Get out of here. That evil producer is going to be pissed off. They're late. Yeah, right. Tell your, tell your brother, come here. Stop fighting me. Tell your brother, come here. Thank you. Yeah, are you doing good on time, Kevin? Oh, uh, yeah, I got uh, It's between 7 and 730. Okay. My time, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're behind. It's what, 6.30 right now? Hour behind. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, so we're doing good on time. I keep forgetting that. Okay. Jeez. Um, I went, child. Man, that's hot. So Kal-El says, SOF Survivor said he's selling all his Glocks for the new X on stream <laughs> earlier. Oh, okay. No Who's this? Yeah. No way. Yeah. Um, Some random internet guy? <laughs> Oh, like I got the, same, um, the the KSG twenty five. Oh, that's a different gun. I'm sorry, I got excited about that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I put a um, yeah. Sugar Bear likes Babyface's Python. I don't know where the hell Babyface oh, right. went to. Uh, yeah. when, when somebody uh, the, the gun, the gun, not yeah, the gun. That sounds yeah, weird. In the video when somebody says that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know, he's mm. Babyface, so he doesn't have a got a got a great Python. Yeah, the gun, the gun. <laughs> The gun. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And maybe just... face. I did bring our beef into 2018. I haven't forgotten. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> what beef do you guys have? The meme beef. The meme. The meme war that we got going on. Oh gosh. I thought you people <laughs> would have forgotten about that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, Red Sky says it's only 4:30 where he is. Oh wow. Where are you, dude? That's West Coast. If it's man. only yeah. That oh, that's all the way on the west. Is that a? Or, are or you I'm in LA? Alaska, yeah. Yeah. Uh, opt out of gun control says smash the thumbs up buttons, people. Come on. Let's get the let's get the thumbs ups going here. You know, let's So what that. are we talking about now? Well, I think we're still talking about the Glock, the Glock 19 X. We didn't get baby baby face a chance. Go ahead. No, I already said I think it's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all you got Kevin to say. Said it. I think it's stupid. I think a, a uh, slide with a long grip is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, not so. I, uh, mm. You know what? I, I don't know. Yeah. This is the reason why I think lots of people are looking for alternatives to Glock because they're just not going to come out with anything. Well, I don't you know, know how they, long Glock is waiting. Are they I'm still waiting for the damn carbine. Can we they're competing the with Colt already? to be the, the least productive company in the firearms industry. Yeah, but, but their revenue doesn't show that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah they're true. selling a crap ton of guns. And they're going to sell these. I guarantee you these are going to come out <laughs> and everyone's going to buy them. Oh, yeah. Like, we're going to do – I'm pretty sure we're going to do videos on them as shot. You know, like, 
Um, I mean, how do you not? You're not going to do a video about, about his gun. I don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe. I want to go, go touch it. You know? Maybe. Well, uh, you know, I don't do as many videos as other people do at SHOT Show. So I'm not saying that I will or I won't. But I don't, I don't really know what guns I'm going to do videos on, um, specifically at Media Day, where we're actually getting to shoot these yeah. things, until I actually go to SHOT Show. And then I'm walking up and down and I'm thinking. So, for example, if I walk past Glock and everyone and their mama is out there shooting that thing, I'm going, okay, let me go there and see what someone else is doing. Hmm. You know, but maybe at some point in the day, I'll mosey on over there and oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, you will. Yeah, you know, I'll definitely see what it. I think about it. And I'm going to definitely shoot it. Definitely. I'm, yeah. I'm definitely have to shoot it because if it, if it there's, a, there's already a bunch of videos out on it, a bunch of guys, someone was sending me videos of them shooting it. And like you said, Such already did a video, right? Mm -hmm. Let me guess, it was really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 What are you trying? What are you trying to imply? Uh, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> no, go ahead. You can say whatever you want to. Such has never put out a bad review. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so he did a. Apparently, um, he was part of the 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 camp that got invited down. They got a to the Glock factory, and they got to tour it. And they actually had cut. His review was actually pretty good. They actually got cut barrels. You can see inside the barrel and what's different. And yeah. They got the whole so, rundown. Do they switch oh. up to button rifling on these, or are they still using the polygonal? Oh, it's that polygonal kind of stuff, I guess okay. they do. Yeah. 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 It's just it's just a better version, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, listen, ultimately, <laughs> the way that I feel about Glock... Oh, uh, hold on a second. John Zupanik, 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 something like that. John wants to know how far I am from Fort White. Uh, not far, maybe like uh, half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, you know what the thing is, I think with Glock, it's kind of like uh, Porsche, right? No, wait a minute. They don't really change a Porsche that <laughs> oh, much. Oh, no. They don't change it that much. How much do they change a Porsche, Walter? From yeah, if, if we go back to like 19 whatever they came out with Porsches, I don't know. They're not the same as they were. They're, They're not air -cooled No, it's not the anymore, same. No, no, no technology is exactly the same, but the looks and stuff, like they very, very slowly change and add technology. So why ruin something that works? Well, okay, that's the point <laughs> right. that I'm making. I think that's okay. where Glock is at with all that. You know, you know, they they do fine like they are, and they got people buy their shit by the. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that's you the know. thing with Glock. Like we don't necessarily we get frustrated with you it know, and you Coke know. and New Coke. Remember that Coke and New Coke. Yeah. yeah. Why they why change it when it works? works? All right. Yeah. So that's the thing, you know, but there are, there's other things out there and you guys can go to it. Here's what keeps me with Glock. I have a, a mega crap ton of Cheap magazines. magazines. Yeah. Cheap magazines. <laughs> yeah. I got a thing today from... No, because uh, I have a bunch of magazines already. I have like every single nine millimeter, well, not anymore because I don't have the 19X. Home. I have no, I have no financial connection to classic firearms. Eight ninety nine for high capacity Glock mags. Of course, wait, they're, they're wait, Korean uh, made, but eight ninety nine normal capacity. Oh, eight ninety nine for the for the Korean mags. That's a good yeah. deal for the thirty yeah. nine. That's an awesome yeah. deal, Walter. We say normal capacity around here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just teasing. those are the those are the thirty three rounders though. Those yeah. are the Glock eighteen mags. I mean, you know, that's the thing with all everything's got to have a Glock mag now. All these nine millimeter carbons, right? So, I mean, <laughs> it's right. like, where do you get a mag that cheap? And then yeah, Mr. Magazine, there's nothing wrong yeah. with them. Mr. Holster says you change what you have. Uh, you change when what you have is not selling. <laughs> right, exactly. So I guess that's Hello? kind of – Yeah, that's Agreed. kind of – they don't really need to do massive. But I wish – come on, man. Can we start like a, a letter campaign or something for them to just put out the carbine? Or am I the only person no, where, that wants the Glock carbine? carbine? Have, I, I want to see this. Have you ever seen this carbine? I've never seen this carbine you're speaking of. I know, I know it's there. I know it's there. Well, so are the UFOs. In the, in no, 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 no. I, the, the, they have a Glock carbine, I'm pretty is, sure. Uh, is Keltec working on it? Good oh, luck. No, hell no. <laughs> if Keltec was, well, first of all, Keltec already has a Glock carbine oh, yeah, out there. Oh, yeah. Glock needs to put out the Glock. Like, everyone oh, okay. and their mama okay. has Burrow. a Glock carbine out there. What's Kevin? He's burrowing us. Watch you watch your Glock mouth. <laughs> watch your Glock mouth. <laughs> I got some 357 up in here. This is the blade version of a Glock. Yeah, meal, dude. I, I don't, oh, oh that's, a good, that's a pretty good matchup right there. <laughs> I'm just saying. 
10 mil. Yeah, yeah, I got six. You got what, 15, 12? Uh, you know what? No, because I got I got the Comedy Fornia mag. Oh. Oh, see, now that's just a violation, Kevin. How can you yeah. even show us? Yeah, because yeah. you know what happened? They were so uh, hard to get when I got this one. You had to get what you could get. And so I had to get the one with the stupid sticker on the outside that says, you can't until the sell this one in California. I mean, you can sell this one everywhere, including California. And it was literally the last one. So it was like, all right. But now I can get the 15-round magazine. Yeah, but it's a violation for that 10-round magazine to even That's, be on there. Yeah, that shouldn't exist. Yeah. That's right. 10 demerits to you, Kevin. So in a, in a free yeah. state, is, there, is there a way to convert a 10-rounder to a 15 or a, whatever the higher rounder is? I don't know. They just sell them. You can just buy them now. I mean, don't, yeah. now like, don't worry about it. Like 25 bucks or whatever. I just haven't gotten around. Um, listen, here's what you should do with those 10-round magazines. Donate them to a needy person in California <laughs> or New York. <laughs> they, put them, they don't need mags. They can't buy ammo. That's right. <laughs> oh, okay. California's, yeah, California's gone. <laughs> um, John Zupanichik says, um, a, Glock car, a Glock carbine would be fantastic, but until people really put the pressure on Glock, they will keep up with what they're doing. By the way, I'm pretty sure they have a Glock carbine, Walter. I remember one day I was talking off camera to um, some Glock engineers, and I was like, when the hell are you guys going to put out the Glock carbine? And they, they were like, yeah. they, they were like, well, yeah, we, do, we don't really have to put it out right now. Exactly. So they know, they know it's there. That's why I'm telling you, it exists, damn it. And I guess we'll just never see it. How about if I put out a carbon? Hey, but you know what's funny? You know what's <laughs> even funnier? And and this is like called the Walt with carbine. All the people that have carbines out there, one of the things that everyone's having a hard time doing is getting That's last round hard bolt hard hole open. open. Yeah, on the carbines, and no one can do that. The new one that After one uh, that lower that you bought, whatever company that was, there's both a shot chiller bringing out one that has a lot of shot holes. Yeah, open. Um, yeah. Well, we haven't built up that lower yet, so we no. But that lower, lower seemed to have a really good, well designed last round bolt hold open mechanism. So okay, so you yeah. like that? Okay. I think I, when I looked at it at the store, I I thought it was a, a well designed thing. So I think it's gonna work. Yeah. Way better than mine for sure. Right, Mel Matrix. Wait, what is it? Mel Matrix was. I sure hope so. Mel Matrix was saying that he thinks that the Glock carbine is going to look like an Origin 12. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Origin 12. I don't think it's going to be that big. Origin 12. The hell is that? Yeah, um, the Origin, Origin 12. 12 that's a massive shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which wow. is actually pretty cool. I wouldn't mind having one. They're a little, they're a little bit expensive. So. Origin 12. I'll have to look it up. I don't know why. Yeah, Brian Quick says the Glock 19X follows a similar form and function as the HK P30. The, uh, he says the HK Kevin, balances very Kevin's, well. Kevin's area. Yeah, right that's there. a that's a Kevin question. <laughs> what did you say? Say that again. The P30, HK P30. Follows what? The clock. The the new 19X has the same a similar lines or something or similar design features to the P30. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, you can well, argue with Kevin doesn't like that. I, I mean, I guess you can argue that, but no. Oh, the ergonomics on it are nowhere near the same. I will say that they are, they are not the same. I, I haven't even held the gun yet, but I've never picked up a Glock that felt better than an HK. I'm, and I'm that's no bias. <laughs> I don't see that ever happening ever. I wish I had a like a HK button for Kevin. <laughs> yeah, it's like I just garbled. Look at that. When are we gonna get the small five presents? Damn it! Uh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, let me just read some comments. Cyrus, uh, Cyrus three hundred eight says, "Does Glock carbine look better than a high point carbine?" Serious question. Um, first of all, none of us have seen a Glock carbine. <laughs> no one has seen a Glock carbine. Unfortunately, I it doesn't have. exist yet. Yeah, I have not seen it here, but I guarantee you, it looks better than the high point. <laughs> Speaking of high point, well, I did a transfer on a high point yesterday or today. Really? No, yes. Not, it's nothing wrong with the high point. I hear that the carbines. It. Wait, is it a high point pistol or a carbine? It was a, a forty-five pistol. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was yeah. gonna say I hear oh, the hang carbines. On, are hang on, hang on. No hate toward the forty-five high uh, point. Come on. Uh, 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 what caused more? Wait a second. Ah, uh, it's a high point. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I forgot to bring my high point in. Um, Tango Hunter says instead of a new Glock, I'm gonna pick up. A Canik TP9 SX there you go. for half the price, and it's competition slash optic ready. So there you go. Robert May says five inch MMP 2.0 is sweet. Done. Cha-ching. Yeah. So, um, do you already have one of those? 
five one five inch MMP two two O. Yeah, that's the first one we got. The tan one. I can go grab it oh. if you want me to. Uh, yeah. So there yeah. you go. So you're loving those. You can say oh, what you yeah. think about those, right? You're loving those. Uh, I'm waiting for the CMP forty five. Um, nineteen eleven. Uh, Mr. Holster says he has. Are you saying, Mr. Holster? Are you saying you have seen the Glock carbine? So Mr. Holster says I have, and everything looks better than the high point carbine. <laughs> <laughs> So um, I don't. Yeah, if as as anything ever leaked, um, on the on the Glock carbine, does anyone know anything about that? I ain't never seen it. If I ain't never seen it, it ain't leaked. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't have all those internet friends like you have. But... <laughs> okay, the Tyvan show. The Tyvan show is sending me like this is a fake picture that the Tyvan show sent me. This is not the Glock carbine, but this is a fake picture that the Tyvan show. It's oh, that's the go. that's the Mechtech carbine. Yeah, that's Mechtech. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that right now, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, is Kevin still here? Okay, Kevin, yeah. what do you want? Well, there's a couple of things you want. How much time do you have before we get uh, to your I presence? Least, I got at least fifteen minutes. T minus fifteen and counting. Okay, let's talk about this real quick. I don't know where Babyface went. Quit my friend. But um, let's go over this real quick before we do this. Did you guys see this in the news? It's on Fox here. I won't put this up. Uh oh. I'm gonna put this up on the chat so some of you guys could see this before I get into it here. Let me post that for you. And I'll also post it so these folks here can see it before I read this headline here. here so we go. go ahead and read that headline, oh, guys. Oh, I saw that, I saw that, yeah. That, uh, that's, baby that's face, a, go ahead, Do you, you got your thing. Um, it's the 5.0, or the 2.0. Oh, right, right, I remember that now. Man, I think we, we go through so many guns, I forget oh, all yeah. that stuff. I really, I still love this one. It fits my hand great. Yeah. So how are you liking the uh, compact? The M I like it. I've carried it for a couple weeks now. Problem is, I keep, I just, I keep going back to my Glock forty three <laughs> because it's so much smaller. Oh. It's just, it's one of those. The forty three is just one of those guns you forget about. Like regularly, I will be like, oh, there's, there's my, ca my carry gun with the, uh, with the M&P, or even with a Glock nineteen. With the forty three, it's just it's just gone. I think like, the Glock forty three is maiming too many people, man. No, oh, we don't yeah. want to carry like our Glock nineteens or I know, the it's, just, it's too perfect. <laughs> yeah, we got too many. The, 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 so damn. much for the Glock eight. <laughs> no, 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 hey, the hey, hey, I can like one and not the other. Yeah, we got a lot of forty threes brought back. I've seen a lot of forty threes traded back in. I don't like that. Really, I don't like that gun. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. It's something. It's something about. And it, it might not be any rhyme to the reason, but a lot of people do bring them back. I, I call uh, the Glock 43 the 40 cal of the the return world with Glock. <laughs> so, everybody brings them back, and they go down to the 42, or they just go up to the 19. Oh, Why? Man, because it's, no. it's too small of a gun and too much in their hands. Is that what they? Yeah, you know that's what I'm thinking. Because if you look at like um, if you look at like the weight of XDS or a shield or something like that, those guns just perform better. The Glock is going to work. You can never argue that. Is 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 right? It's going to work. It's just something about that muzzle flip out of that gun. I don't know. It's just not so. Right. So here's a good question. I think this is what I would like to know. Um, in there. Um, so they brought that back. What did they get? I mean, first of all, you guys take these guns back when people bring it back, or are they you're trading it in. it in for a different you're, gun? You're, you're trading it in, of course. But okay. Yeah. So what? The, so what were people trading it in for? Either a forty-two or a nineteen. Oh, interesting. So they either went one way or the other size-wise. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, so was it technical problems they were having with it, or just it was, like, not the right size for them? Well, some people buy off what they see in magazines. You know, you're coming out buying a first gun. You really can't can't change their mind. They buy a gun, and sometimes it's just, ah, this wasn't right, and let's talk about what's better. Um, some people were just like, oh, this is going to be right. This is going to be everything. You know, they were happy to get their 43. And I would say about 40% of them were coming back in like, yeah, it's too much. Um, yeah, I'll just either go up to a 19 and just run with the 19 because I can do classes with it and all that good stuff, or I'll just go down to a 42. Uh, and, 19 can do everything. Yeah, I, I hate yeah. to say that, but a 19, yeah. a good 19, can do anything you want. Absolutely. I carried I carried my 19 for four or five years, and then I switched up to the 43 because it was uh, during the summer here. You know, wearing shorts and whatnot, it's easier to go with something smaller. But yeah. Um, yeah. Um, no, Archangel totally. wants Babyface to ask me this question. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I'm trying to look it up right now. There's Lock a, AK sights from Law Tactical. Mm, never heard of it. Me personally. 
So I don't know factory nine millimeter Glock and mini aftermarket nine millimeter Glock size. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I see what it is. Okay, so it's a, it's a tangent. It's your basic leaf spring rear sight for an AK. Um, instead of having your, uh, your sight picture, it has a flat piece. Here, I'll link it. Um, and okay, you, it's like the AK AK sight. It's well, no, it, it is an AK sight. It's an oh. it's a sight made for an AK that you uh, put a Glock sight into. <laughs> okay, you, no. you're putting a Glock sight on an AK. It's, oh, okay. And then Vanessa Kitty says, "How about a Glock six six six? At the end of the world. At the end of the world. If you fall for that stuff, yeah. At the end of the world, that's what we will get. Um, Good so numbers. let me see. I'll take them. Okay. So, um, you know what? Should we talk about the news, or should we let Kevin show Kevin us? Kevin wants to talk about equipment print. Come on. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Talk about print yeah. print. Go ahead. Talk about the Christmas presents. I'll get to some new stuff in a second after Kevin has a chance to brag to us about all the awesomeness <laughs> that his wife bought to him that he never ever encouraged her to buy, or begged her to buy, or dropped lots of hits. Go ahead. No, nope. like you never done that. <laughs> <laughs> First, I'm going to start off with my uh, beautiful Christmas gift from um, uh, Safety Harbor Firearms, in lieu of uh, Peggy, because I'm pretty sure Walter didn't pack this. Now, okay. that, is, that is complete. So, horror. hold on a second now, Kevin. Do you have a special message for Peggy? Yes. Where is Peggy? Is she around? Peggy, you, you listening? Have a special mes message for Peggy? Okay. She might be watching in the other room. So. Yeah. So Peggy, if you're watching, here's a special message from from. I Kevin. just wanna, I wanna, actually, I wanna thank both of you guys. So I wanna thank the Safety Harbor family, the Kellers, for their wonderful gift. I'm sorry I just got it yesterday, uh, but I was moving around. But I do appreciate it whenever I'm thought about. And so the first thing I noticed was this. <laughs> Very <laughs> box of um. Show that, show that food. groundhog, man. Show the turnarounds. We can see the groundhog. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's a Christmas spirit there. there you I thought, go, yeah. <laughs> and um, you know, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, I'm gonna pick out all the red bullets. All the red uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's funny. You should have you should have sent him only the red one. I didn't even think about it. I would have done it if I would have took all the green I would have swapped it if I would have thought of it. I'm sorry, I forgot. Oh that's no, that's fine. fine. It's fine. So I'm gonna take all the red ones out of here. I'm not uh actually nobody's gonna shoot this. I might let um my son runs some of the green ones out of his. Uh, no, I won't. I, I shouldn't even say that. No, I'm, I'm going to keep them. I'm <laughs> selfish like that. Uh, and, keep the, bullets. the bullets are made for shooting. Huh? The bullets are made for shooting. Okay, so what you got there? Let's see what you got there. Yeah, I got the MS Clean. Wait, did you get a, a flat dark earth MS Clean kit? No, it's black. Uh, no, this is green. No. No, it's. What? It's, it's, it's that, yeah, I'm sorry. Wait, Kevin yeah. got the. the, the the, the green, the only. I know. Oh, I am very. Je I'm one. actually it's, it's, officially it's, jealous about this. It's now. FDE. It's not green. It's FDE. Is it FDE? Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. Um, I'm. I'm. I'm very. I'm jealous. By the way, yeah. it's better than what Hank got, so it's fine. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just cold hearted. <laughs> I'm crushed out, Walter. So I got that, and I appreciate that. And then, yeah. uh, matter of fact, I didn't dig. No, thanks. Walter is the only one who sent us all presents. And we then there is um, and Peggy. There is th this. Oh, here we go. Cheers. Tea cup, everyone. Teacup game. Cup. Okay, cup everyone cup. should throw up their teacups. Oh, hold on. Down. Keep your teacups. So keep your teacups up. I'm going to go through everyone. There's Babyface with his teacup. There's Kevin with his teacup. Hashtag teacup game is on now. That's me with the teacup. Big girl panties will have big girl tea. Yes. yes. Yeah. Everyone's got their teacups. Man, <laughs> wait to drop up. Anyone up. who's watching this new is like, what the hell's going on? Where wait till you see the video I'm gonna do with this. Oh, <laughs> right through the middle. And then, so to the Kellers, I thank you guys. That was that was awesome. Oh, you're welcome. That was very awesome. And then, I got this person called a wife. Um, <laughs> one of those up. So, the wife does something very beautiful. I know you guys are gonna think that the gun I'm gonna show you is. And by the way, man, you have a very beautiful wife also. I'm not trying to, like, I'm just saying we should acknowledge that. She is truly beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the only place the cuteness gets it from. Like, Fortunately for the cuteness, she gets none of your genanda. No. <laughs> you know what? I agree. I got my attitude. Definitely. definitely ain't got my looks. Uh, but thank you. I'll be sure to share that with her. 
And she, I'm pretty, she's getting, you know, she's getting a little bit sad herself too, because she's noticed how pretty her dimples are on camera. <laughs> and her off. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but this is my. Um, Kevin's like, I'm gonna put a stop to that. <laughs> I got, I got to, man. She's all in the dimples. So this is the one you guys normally see me running around with the HKVV9. This is the though when now it doesn't have the, the light on it because she decided to upgrade me. I don't and, know how this is upgrading and you still have that one, but uh, yes, I keep them. So I want to get this close for you can see what that says. That's the HK. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Tactical? tactical. Tactical baby. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ooh, okay. threaded barrel. Yeah, threaded barrel. So it better be threaded yeah, for threaded tactical. Barrel. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Got that. Um, so yes, that's uh that that was new. And then if that wasn't good enough. And Kevin already put his enforce light on there, just in case you didn't notice that. Uh yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. And then but it's gonna come back off because I'm still gonna carry that one. This guy is getting a I actually uh ordered a cam for him yesterday. So He's got a he's got a can. Oh, so the, oh, is this your first suppressor? Uh, yes, the first one that I will like own myself. Normally, I just shoot everybody else's. Nice. I can just go to the store and get no. one. So, like, why rush? Congrats. But I'm like, yeah, you know you what? Should, I own my own you stuff. Let us know, like, what you yeah. what did you order? Yeah, uh, it's an American manufacturing um, can. They're a local company, so you probably never heard of them. It's called American Manufacturing. Uh, but he does very very cost effective cans. Like, you can get a nice thirty. I think his thirty cal can MSRP is like. 475 or something like that for a 30 cal can. Um, his nine millimeter cans are like three and a half. I mean, very, very fairly priced. He's uh, <laughs> he has a plain Jane website, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is because he's, he's like a, a metal genius, not a graphic designer, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> uh, but we're trying to help them, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, American manufacturing, you said. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Can we not pass this up right here? On his website, he has a suppressed rifle package for $1,000. Includes a suppressor and a 9mm bolt-action rifle? That's super cool. Really? Yeah. What, what what rifle is that? I don't know. I've never That's seen this interesting. Okay, make a link. Give us all links. Yeah, this is cool. It's like halfway down the page. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, Mike does. His name is Mike. Mike does really, really good stuff. He actually... um. Uh, helps out with with a few things at the shop too. He's like our go to uh, metal genius. Uh, and then I'm going to get a matching can for my second present, which was this guy. You see this oh. guy? Oh wait a minute! I gotta oh go back. Oh my heart! I want one of those so bad. <laughs> yeah, wait. Well, let me lock you in. Let me lock you in. Okay, go. What is that? Go for it. I'm gonna get close for you can read it. F and oh, F and X. Does it have a? Is it already cut for the um for the Yes, <laughs> I want one of those. Like I need one of those for my can. I have a can that has no gun for it. I need a gun. You know what? You can send me the can because I got a gun with no can. Okay. I just got an uh, uh, Osprey, a Silencico Osprey in forty-five, and oh, uh, I need a gun for it. <laughs> That's cool. I'll put up a link here for American. Um, it's uh, A M E R dash M F G for anyone who is listening. And yeah. they want to be able to check that out. And I just put a link in the chat so folks could check that out. So, yeah. all right. So there you go. Yes. Hey, what's wrong with his website? It gets the job. Hold on. Remember, remember, you can't can't do it like that. Give me a second. I'll fix it. It gets the job done. Oh, well, that's not working, what I put up there? Okay. Yeah, it worked. It worked. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it did? It won't work for I me. got it. Oh. I got it. Your, your computer's oh, yeah. screwy, babyface. No, you got to put text before the link. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Oh, right. oh. Uh. Oh, okay. Babyface also put it in there, so you go. Um, so there you go. Yeah, so, so, so Kevin, you you got a you got some homework tonight. You need to figure out what nine millimeter bolt action rifle this thing that this guy makes is because it looks super cool. Yeah. So, uh, I, Kevin, I would like to know: Is your wife like a doctor, a lawyer, a African princess? I mean, <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> that's, that's, what's gonna, you know, I'm sure there's some dudes out there. Does she have sisters? <laughs> Yeah. Um, she, um, are they looking to get married? Because <laughs> she she, she's a professionally employed woman. She's very. My wife is actually very, very smart. The girl has as many degrees as I am old. Oh. She, works, <laughs> she works really, really hard. And so um, I don't. I'm I'm kind of a low maintenance guy, really. Uh, <laughs> right. That is I am, man. But when I ask for what stuff, like, the deal, right? Like I'm gonna do that and ask for a car for like five years, then I want the hundred thousand dollar car for me. Yup. You know that type. So. Um, no, it was nice. Now, in all fairness, with this one, there was one thing I was required to do, which I was fine with. I didn't have a problem with it. Um, I had I had the FN X45, the basic one, and so I had to 
sell it to go towards this. But I was I was absolutely okay with that. Oh, <laughs> whoa! Yeah, well, this guy. So yeah, this guy looks like a proper machinist. Oh, Mike! Mike, the so baby face is out on this. He can out over his. He has a he has a uh, a video of a on his Facebook page of a a thread cap, uh, a thread adapter, not a thread adapter, a a thread protector on a yeah. on a like a a gun in the white. And it like perfectly lines up. You can't see the seam, and then you untwist. Ah, super! I'll link this. Awesome. One. You know what, Kevin? You should get him to come on, man. Oh, you want Mike on the show? Hell yeah! Uh, yeah, Babyface is loving it. That's all I need. <laughs> I'm geeking out over his machine yeah. work. Let me, uh... <laughs> Anything that Babyface is gonna geek out like could, on like that, gotta have him on. And then we'll have Babyface come on as well. <laughs> so reach out to him and see if he'd like to come on with us and show us some of his wares. Let me send some of his guns. <sighs> Is that it for your presents? I mean, did you? Did you uh, get is that all you got, Kevin? Yeah. yeah did you get any watches or anything? What is that you're rocking right oh. there? What is that like? A, uh, is that a Casio? This, no, or, oh, my, oh Walter's going to get. Let's see. I'm going to be back in a second. G Shock. You got to know it's red. G Shock. What, what, oh. what is with the G Shock? I'm not up on the whole G Shock thing. So here's my thing. A lot of people like the man. Like back in the day, they liked him because like you could shake him and the light will come on and all that crap. I care nothing about that. The reason <laughs> I like them now is because a they're affordable. I mean, it's like a 60, 70 buck watch. They're affordable and they're durable. So for guys like us that are outside doing stuff, they yeah. they keep they keep good time and that you can beat them and yeah. them and, and, and that's also like uh, we should we should do we should actually do a watch show. Do you know that we should do a show where we talk about watches? I think that'll be uh, p folks out there. Let us know. Would you like to us to do a show and talk about watches and show watches? One of the things I like about G Shock. Uh, usually you can get solar power and it's atomic, so it sets itself mm -hmm. and charges itself. And I'm assuming um, the the G Shock they're all solar powered and atomic, right? Um, I don't know if I, all of them. I don't know about atomic. Uh, I think so. I could be wrong. But you know what's you know what? I'm not trying to brag, and this is not a Christmas present. I had this for a long time. You know what's better than the G Shock? Tag wire? Because that's what I got. Boom! This right here. <laughs> You know what this is? This is an Oceanus. Oceanus? I can't even spell yes. that. An Oceanus, which is also from Casio, believe it or not. This is oh. at Casio's like high end. This mm -hmm. one is titanium, solar powered, and atomic. There you go. Hank, so. you're doing way more than gun videos, dude. Wait, no, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've had that for a long time, man. I've had it for a long time. Yeah, what else are you packing so. up in those uh those shirts <laughs> <right> there, Hank? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think Ca it's oh, also hey, from Casio. It's just a high end Casio. It's not super expensive. Huh? How long have you had that one? This one, I've had it for I don't know, well, Lola, what, like five years or something, probably? <sighs> The new ones are equipped with uh, Bluetooth linking, wow. solar power, GPS hybrid wave scepter, whatever the hell that yeah. means. <laughs> that tells you the it tells you the the um the height of the waves. So I you think you're right. kind of correct. This is like a sailing watch. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. You got a watch. <laughs> I love I love I love these man. The Oceanus is awesome. I'm a huge fan. We really should do a watch show. Here's a dude that knows a lot about watches. I, I knew that's what he was gonna do. He's gonna show okay. us some badassery. Walter's watch guy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh man, hold on. I'll go get some. Oh, no, no, <laughs> baby face has to go. All oh, right. Lord. Are we talking about equipment presents? Did you? What is? Did you get this for Christmas? This is a Citizen Eco Drive. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, it's one of those ones that goes off the atomic clock and all that stuff. And yeah, but it but it charges up with uh, movement. With actually like solar. <laughs> Oh, it, oh, it's solar powered. Okay. Yeah, cool. so it doesn't have like any kind of like solar cell in the front of it, but it it does it through the face. What is what is yeah. that one? So the, the Citizen Eco Drive. Yeah, the Citizen Eco Drives. Those are the uh, the solar. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty you cool. Forget, it's, my my family owns a watch a watch shop in Tampa. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So we got uh, Omega Automatic. Oh boy. This oh dear. From the fifties, gold That's, Omega yeah, Automatic. Is that, is, is, that, is that gold? Gold. Hmm. Gold, gold. Wow. Uh, we have this little one when I used to have, when I was baby face and had a baby wrist. Omega Automatic, a tiny. Oh, are you tiny only, tiny. wait a second. Are you Omega? Omega? Oh, man. Have Omega's we my favorite company. But no. Like with Kevin, no. that you only rock Omegas or something? Oh, no, no, no. But that is my favorite company, my favorite watch company. You want me to go get um, mine? Absolutely. Might as well at this point. It's just now my become, new tag. It's just now a watch show. Okay. I'll That's be back. Fancy. This is a 1500 series tag. It's not an expensive one. Okay. 
Um, and then for Tell the grand prize. Tell me you got prize, a Roly up in there. Uh, I, I'm in, inheriting one. <laughs> I've already told my grandfather I'm taking his. <laughs> nice. Um, this is something, this is something different that you guys probably don't see all the time. A original Space View Accutron. Holy. I have no idea what I, that is. Yeah, that, looks, so this is a clear, this has a clear case on it so you can see a, the workings? Yep, it's a Space View. It's a, uh, an Accutron, which was by Bulova. Wow, okay. Um, and it doesn't use a quartz crystal. It uses tuning forks. So those two little things you see at the top, uh, those two little windings at the very top of the watch are tuning uh -huh. forks. And it vibrates to get the correct spin on your uh, – and this one, the battery's down on this one. I need to go get a new battery in it. Um, but when you when it's running, you can actually put it to your ear and hear it. It Whatever hums it like an A you want to talk about. on a piano. So it's pretty cool, though. It's a, it's a Bulova Accutron Space View from the 70s, I think. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, watch, I'm a watch fiend. <laughs> So Walter's here now. Walter's. Oh man, Walter's got. I don't up. realize Walter was a watch guy. <laughs> uh, Nine oh four says this is worn watch porn <laughs> that we're up to right yeah. now. We are going to talk about some other stuff. We do have some guns. Ready? We're talk about some gun stuff. Yeah, let's get the. Walter's let's get got, the watch. Walter stuff. has a nice red tag. I like that one. Well, bring that up first then. This one there here. I like that one a lot. That is the tag. Um, is that a Formula One? Hey, put that back up. Oh, that's a formula. Yeah, one. Kevin likes this because it's got red in red, it. Red, right? Yeah, I saw red. This is gang colors right here. Yeah, hey, it's nice. It's nice. Screen on them or something. It is a very nice watch. I like why, that. Why you the back? I couldn't see you. Oh, he, Jesus! <laughs> you gotta hold it there for Kevin for a second. I like that watch. That's nice. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. that is big and pretty. I like that. The formula right. one. The formula one tags are real nice. All right. Well, let's continue on with the tags. Then here's another. <laughs> here's another formula one that my. Beautiful watch it's got for me. Oh wow, that's oh, great. That's so you 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 don't need more than one Formula One, right? We'll take this. Um, uh, now <laughs> you can share for, with some of us. For Babyface, this one here was um, this is actually the Apollo Eleven commemorative. Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? No, I wouldn't kid you like that. Oh, what is that? Oh, I want one of those. Oh, so wow, bad. Apollo Eleven commemorative. Wow. Ugh, that's not the new one, is it? No, this is the one that the first one they did, as far as I know. The first one. They just came out with a Apollo. I think they just came out with another Apollo Eleven commemorative oh, really? last year. Wow. Fourteen thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, this wasn't that much, but it wasn't cheap either. So yeah, yeah. Um, the, the new one was fourteen thousand, and it has a silver engraving of Snoopy on it, which is super who cool. Who knew you two knuckleheads were like uh, Omega? Oh, Omega. Omega. Can you see, can you see has the, Snoopy on the back? Can, no, this huh? has got the eagle and everything. The oh, Apollo Eleven okay. eagle. Man, I want the Snoopy watch. Okay, now, um, and of course, the one I wanted since childhood, one of them, the Rolex. Ah, yeah, oh, nice, Rolex. very nice. God, that's a plain Jane Rolex right there. Yeah, <laughs> but, um, that's, actually, nice. that's a nice, that's a nice yeah, Rolex. It's a sea classic. dweller. Yep. It's sea dweller. Okay. Yep. Yes, sir. Okay. Awesome. Oh, awesome. we're not done yet. We like it. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I know. I'm not bragging or anything. This is not the <laughs> Chad. Chad Patrick says. Chad Patrick says, I got a watch from the swap shop flea market <laughs> two that's, years ago, and it still cool. works. <laughs> this is the tag Indy 500 one from last year, I think, oh, from, for the 100th, the 100th, 100th anniversary of Indianapolis 500. I didn't realize you were a watch guy. Yeah, right, I'm like, surprised you didn't show your SEMA, your SEMA, your 75 years of SEMA show. I have one of those, too. That's upstairs. I left it upstairs. Oh. Um, and last but not least, what we got here? Well, this one here. I just got a lowly Wenger Swiss Army one, but you know that's. Oh, okay. Mister Holster says he has a Spiro Agnew watch he got for his 16th birthday. Wow, Spiro Agnew. Yeah. I mean, I know who it is and all that. You know, he he was from Maryland. He went down in a blaze of, of corrupt glory. But, <laughs> yeah. And 904 says the Sea Dweller is a copy of the Omega Seamaster. Seamaster, I think the original. They probably made a, a offshoot yeah. of it or something. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. It's Omegas amazing. are awesome. Yeah, favorite watch. Cool. By the way, check this watch out. This is not mine. This is Lola's. This is I don't know if we can even here. Let me see. I got. I guess I got to back it. Let's see if we can get Stay in still. there. Oh, nice. What's that? Show this. This is a Swatch watch. Hold on. I'm trying to get it to focus. Here we go. Oh, I saw so that. you can see right through the case of this one. That's cool. You know, and it. it so it is all see through. I have no idea what it is, but it is. Uh, it it self winding. 
Here, I'll show oh, you guys. So I'll see through. So there you go. Speaking of Lola, that, that's what Lola is rocking. I forgot what she took. I think she said it's body and soul or something. Real like quick, that. why I so. love Omegas. So, damn, Walter. This is the this is the Kenneth Cole, but oh, it's, Cole. Kind of, it's kind of the same idea as Lola's watch, where it's see through, because mm -hmm. you can see the back. This is why I love Omegas. Uh, this is a automa my automatic Omega. It's like rose gold tinted uh, uh, movement in the back, which is why I love it. And it's you just have, cool. and that's just the face. Yeah, I, I took it out of the, the case. This, oh. this case comes apart really easily. Oh, okay, cool. I don't, I don't do like pretty boy watches. You know, the ones that are real sleek and all that stuff. I don't know. I don't yeah. Know Screaming Skull Saloon says Walter is about to pull out a, a Patek Felipe. <laughs> oh, Patek Felipe is no. Oh, I don't. Patek, Patek, Felipe. Patek Felipe. Is that expensive? I have no. Hundred percent. They're hundred percent handmade in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Um, and they run anywhere from thirty thousand up to like <laughs> a million and a half. Ah! Ah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Elizabeth, I'm coming to see you, Elizabeth. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're... I was watching something about Rolex. It says that it takes a year, like a full year, to make every Rolex because well, they're handmade and all that kind of stuff. Um, so. You want to hear a funny story about a paddock? Whoever said that about paddock Philippe? I got a good story for you. Go for it. Um, so my my family in Tampa has a watch shop down on Kennedy Boulevard. What is it called? Um, uh, Richmond Time Service. Okay. okay. Richmond Time so Service. If you ever, if anyone you ever go out there and get the Hank Strange discount. <laughs> People probably don't know who Hank Strange is. <laughs> um, Get it anyway. <laughs> so so somebody comes in with a Patek Philippe, which is, again, very, very high-end expensive watch, um, and says that they are tired of winding it oh. constantly. They want a quartz movement put into it. Oh. So, yeah, oh. yeah. So this is a $20,000 watch that they so brought in and were like, I'm tired of having to wind it all the time. Uh, just go get a like off the shelf Japanese ETA movement, ADA movement, and stick that in it. Oh my god! Up, they were happy with it, and they were like, "Keep the movement. I don't want it." <laughs> <laughs> so my cousin has a Patek Philippe movement sitting in his desk. That, that you, what can you do with it? Because you can't. I mean, the cases are handmade. Everything's handmade. You can't like put it in anything else. That doesn't make any sense. What you're saying? Like, why would someone even? I guess he didn't <laughs> oh, care. It's insane. Yeah, I guess he didn't care. Okay, so we're gonna we had a little Anyways. watch we had a little watch Ooh. moment there. We had a little watch moment. All right, all right. So yeah, let's go back to guns. Let's do gun porn. Okay, Kevin, you're out of here. Porn. Time uh, to yeah, porn. I will be back in a few minutes. Lead a link up. Don't give my space away, Hank. You're good for doing. No, 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 no. Just mute. Just <laughs> mute your thing or whatever. Yeah, we won't give it away. Don't worry about it. That's right. You know what? I can probably do Skype on here. Hopefully, it doesn't shut yeah. it down. Well, the camera yeah. probably shut down because I got to take it on Skype. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. be right so, back, guys. Yeah, okay, we'll see you when you get back. Okay, so Kevin will be coming back. He's going over to Colon Noir. Anyone who wants to open up another window, check out Colon Noir Live when you go over there. Say what's up to Kevin and ask Colon Noir when he's coming on the Who Moved My Freedom podcast. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's go over there and find out when he's coming on. Walter, I'm throwing yeah, something we'll on. Okay, so you guys want to do gun porn? Walter, what you got? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, Today I brought home just for just for fun. It was in the safe at the shop. This is a uh, Adams Arms upper, uh, piston driven upper, yep. and uh, with a compact entry stock on it for the AR. And the the reason it came about was a customer called me and said, "Hey, will your cat stock work with the Adams Arm piston driven upper?" So I said, "Well, I guess I'll have to buy one and see." <laughs> so um, actually, there was a good sale going on at the time. I bought one for the customer, and then I. At the same time, got one for me, modified his bolt, modified mine, worked great. End of story. Oh, so it will yeah, work they, with that. They have a they have the piston bolt, don't they? Yes, you have to. Um, yeah, it's got the with a permanent carrier key. You just have to cut it off to work with the, the yeah. compact entry stock. Cut the back of the bolt off, but it worked fine. So, and I brought home just for just for grins. This is basically a nine millimeter. AR, but with the Colt style magazines. Okay, Colt style. Okay. So using the tail hook. Nice, so nice. This is a pistol. Um, I a lot of us forget about the Colt magazine using <laughs> ones because we're all about Glock. Well, I know. Glock yeah, has but, maimed us and yeah. ruined us. Yeah, the and, Colt, and, and which and, is a cheaper, more readily available well, option, but whatever. Yes yeah. and no. You got to buy that lower. So why isn't there an adapter on that? Well, there is in the Magwell. No, 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 no. Why isn't there an adapter on that tail hook? That's what, what I'm saying. About? Adapter for what? The tail hook. To make it go in and out. Oh. <laughs> well, oh, you're talking about the retractable. Yeah. Oh, yeah no. Well, this is not one of my stocks on it, obviously. 
yeah this stock here is available just yeah. for you people that are, that are looking they're looking for a fixed stock weepers sells this tube that is made for the tail hook it is it is reduced diameter in the back and a place for the for the alignment pin oh cool okay um yeah. it has about 11 and a half inch length to pull so it's kind of a little short in that respect yeah, but one, if you yeah. want something right out of the box that's supposed to, it works perfect with the tail hook it's a go so yeah i, ju I just bought some that i'm going to uh i see that for you guys that don't know what a brace is that's what it's for mm -hmm. you know it's not necessarily for the but anyways long yeah. story short <laughs> <laughs> and actually these sites i'm not like working for leapers or nothing but this is leapers uh, those are metal or plastic sites they are all metal um and they're actually made pretty well they lock open. They wiggle a little bit when they're locked, but they stay open. And they're really affordable. So yeah. if you guys are on, you know, if you're looking for something that's, you know, you don't want to spend a lot of jack, these aren't bad. So yeah. By the way, a couple of comments in here from the watch section. Uh, Capo, Capo Joe uh, 2 says, I wear a 1940s U.S. Army issue Elgin every day, $200. El cool. Elgin. Elgin, wanted, excuse me, I've, Elgin. I've wanted one of those for a while. Yeah. There, there were three companies that made them back then. I think there was Elgin, Bulova, and Waltham. Probably all so. made. They all made the World War II watches for the, the military. Uh, I don't know if they were officers only, but you, they, everybody that needed a watch got a watch from one of those three. They're all basically exactly the same. They just have the different this one was a, a standardized. So are movement. they more than two hundred bucks today, or they're still two hundred bucks today? Probably not, right? Um, they're collectible. They're very collectible. Depends yeah. on the condition. And it depends. Yeah. Yeah, and and then uh, like a lot of officers would have bought like you could have bought your own as long as you had a a something that worked. You could have bought like an Omega or a, a right. Tag or whatever back then. Um, oh. But yeah, the standard issue ones are they're just really cool because they're extremely plain. Mm -hmm. It's like a black dial, white white lettering. And that's it. There's nothing right. to them. They're super, super. Yeah. Cool. Mr. Got, Holster says he has a twenty thousand dollar watch. He totaled a new eighty seven Trans Am. Looking at his watch. <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny, but it's kind of funny. I don't know if that's a story I'd tell, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, look at my watch, boom, Trans Am <laughs> in the eighties. Hopefully, you still got the watch. Yeah, I mean, because the the well, hold on, the watch was worth more than the Trans Am in the eighties. Yeah. I think, yeah. I hope you still what were you going to say, Walter? Um, I have an Elgin pocket watch that was my grandfather's. Nice. Um, and I also have, that's my my mom's dad. And then I have another watch that was my grandfather's, my dad's father, that was came from Russia. And when I when they came over here, they kept it or something. And it probably has a lot of stories if it could talk. But it was in bad shape. And I sent it off to a guy that, that fixed the Elgin. He completely disassembles the whole watch cleans everything puts it all back together and he did that with that russian watch put a new uh new bezel on it all that's i mean the uh, yeah, the crystal whatever all that stuff and the freaking he said it's actually a good quality watch and he told me the story about it and i was like wow really i just saw some cheap russian watch but mm -hmm. not yeah not if, you, so, but. if you ever get anything like that take it to the take it to the place in tampa that's my my cousin is a, a watchmaker that's what he does right right yeah and, he, and once again he completely disassembled that one Reassembled it and um, it runs perfect now too. So yeah, cool. So and babyface, tell your cousin if he gets like an eighteen karat gold Rolex that he yeah. that no one he, wants he, and he wants to sell it for I got, like, I got first dibs. bucks. You and know what's oh, funny? Damn you, Walter! He's actually <laughs> a, Don't call dibs before guy. me, you bastard. He's he's a Rolex guy. That that is his his favorite brand is Rolex. I wanted a Rolex when I was in high school and I didn't have a pot to pee in back then. Yeah. And I've always wanted a Rolex, and when the first chance I had an opportunity, I got this one. I was like, yeah. No, here's another good story from the company. From uh, This is back in the 90s. Um, somebody brought in a Tudor, which is a, a subsidiary of Rolex. Still a, a pretty high-end watch. And it was probably a $1,000 watch at the time. Brought it in to get it repaired. The repair bill back then, like 1994, was $50. That's all it was, 50 bucks to get it repaired. The person ended up saying that they didn't want it. They, they didn't want to pay the repair bill, so I don't want to get it. So they forfeited the watch, and and my my mom was like, "Okay, I'll pay the fifty bucks." And it's been in our family since then. <laughs> it's like, it's like fifty dollars. You're turning in a watch for fifty bucks? Worth a thousand? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, it was probably it was probably one of those that was like given to them, and they're like, ah, "I'm not paying fifty bucks for a free watch." I used to wear this one every day, in the shop, working, 
I mean, I didn't do any, ex, you know, I didn't do anything that was going to damage it, but it, just working in the shop and the band got all stretched out, the pins and everything. And the local guy yep. here sent it off to a guy and they rebuilt the, the band at like $600. Yep. Uh, but the band alone is like a thousand if you get a new one. And um, yeah. one day I'll buy one. Yeah. So what it's, it's, it's nice to have something that you've worked hard for that. You're like, I've wanted this for a long time. I've worked yeah. for it. I'm going to go get it. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, yes, we did. And then the Omega, the funny part about the Omega Apollo 11 was we walked in the store for something else, and I saw it there at Jared, and uh, I was like, I got to have it. It's a limited edition. I got I some. Gotta have, I got to have it. And I, I got I some ordered. corn. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I'm, I'm, you keep going, Walker. Go no, I just, I, I got, I actually ordered it, and when it came in, um, they didn't get very many of them, actually, so I was lucky to get it. So Check, um, check the one that I put into uh into the chat it's the apollo 13 okay. yeah uh, the thing okay baby face you got some gorn i'm gonna i have a picture of something i just bought and i'm probably gonna pick it up on friday i get paid tomorrow i might pick it up tomorrow let oh. me uh put it what, so on. what did you go are you gonna put it in the chat yeah i'm gonna i gotta upload a picture to him and then i'll stick that in the chat oh, okay so what did you buy what did you buy what was it it is my very first black powder revolver oh awesome and Wait, really? I sort of, yeah, I didn't send you a picture of this. No, I got one. I got one. I got one, Hank. You didn't. Yeah, you I sent it to Walter. I, I, yeah. I know Walter's a black powder guy. Yeah. Uh, very first black powder revolver. So we did one of those that I always do. I walked into the pawn shop that I've been <laughs> wanting to go into around the corner from our house. Been Marley and I have been talking about going there just to look around for funsies one time. Every time I go by there, they're closed. Finally, on one of the days I had off last week, I was like. Let's go to the pawn shop. I need a couple tools to work on some Christmas presents. Let's go look at the pawn shop. I walked in, and this place is awesome. They have a ton of. There's cool a pawn stuff. shop around the corner from you. I've never yeah, seen this. Yeah, from us. Uh, really? Yep. Oh, um, okay. Interesting. You, you yeah. know, you, you'll have to go because they have, uh, they have a like, I'd say it's in the 99% blued, original like Series 70 Colt 1911. I mean, the bluing is like perfect. Um, they have pythons and they have all sorts of cool stuff. Really? Okay. So, What's it so called? I, I was in there and they had a 1849 Colt pocket pistol and 31 caliber. That doesn't work, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so you so, wait. Oh, so this is what you got? Nah, I just linked it in chat. So I okay. uh, at the time I didn't want to put it on my credit card, so I was like, ah, um, no, I'll put it I don't in see it. I didn't see it in the chat. Oh, you put chat. it in the main chat on the main chat. Okay, cool. Um, so uh, I put it. It was, it was six hundred bucks, and I was like, ah, I'll just put it on layaway and pay it off a little bit because I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want to pay for that right now. Oh, it looks interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Very first black powder. I've never owned a black powder. Uh, so is it going to be anything. functional? Are we going to be able to shoot yeah. it or not shoot? Oh yeah, it? I don't. I don't own guns that you don't shoot. This one's pretty okay. ugly. It's not. I wouldn't say it's a collector's piece. Um, first off, these these uh, 1849 pocket Colts, they made like something like 350 thousand of them. So they're they're super super prolific. They're not like they're not like super super uh, collectible. Yeah. So I figured it's going to be a shooter gun. Something. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Well, we're, gonna uh, have to, we're gonna have to do a video because I got. Is, oh, oh, look at this. Yeah. That we, is pretty. How come we haven't shot this thing, Walter. Yeah. Well, I have about five that haven't been shot yet. So, uh, oh, you know what? Okay, so the next time you come, we should just do a black powder I, video. I, I gotta, I gotta get a mold for. I gotta get some fifty-eight caliber, either mini balls or something. Yeah, opt out of gun control says he has a Philadelphia Derringer black powder pistol. That's cool. That's cool. Um, I I, what I was gonna try to tell you, babyface. Originally, years ago, um, Peggy's grand aunt, whose husband used to be a jailer in New Orleans. Back in the old days when guns came into the jail, they just got distributed. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they just they, got taxed. They got taken from with the, the, the people That's working cool. in the jail. So the when people, you, you well, get out of jail, you don't get your gun back? Uh, no. Not uh, then. <laughs> Not back then. <laughs> no. So she, she <laughs> tells us one time we're there, she goes, I got this pistol, and you just got to come and get it. I don't even want to touch it. So I go, <laughs> I, I really, literally. So we go over there, and she says, it's in the, it's in the shelf down there, on that second shelf down there. So it's, I reach my hand in and I, what the hell? It, I pull it out and it's in an old silk sock, and it was a thirty-six caliber percussion um, conversion to rimfire. Oh, a, a Colt, a Colt conversion when they converted the percussion guns to rimfire. Was it, it was an original? 
Yeah. Wow. Do you still have it? No. <laughs> of course oh. not. <laughs> I sold it to raise some money to buy an inflatable boat. Um, <laughs> but it was, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Say it. Then I also, at that same time, I sold the two Nambus I had, the Japanese Nambu pistol. Oh, I can't believe that one, man. The one that had a, one that that's had a heartbreaking. Pistol, one that had a pistol bullet hole in the holster, too, so. Dude, oh, that's kind of cool, but Nambus, man, nah, they're shitty guns. They were never made that great. And the ammo is so, you can't even find the ammo. Yeah, but I just want to shoot one. You can get it. But, yeah, I've, it. Got, I've got five black powder guns that haven't been shot. So, yeah, we got to do a black powder video. Cause... Yeah, absolutely. We got to do that. And by the way, uh, this is the uh, 7.62x39 Galil Ace. Ooh. Uh, rocking right here. Belongs to Big Daddy. Big, Big, uh, Big Daddy. Daddy Guns. So, there you go. That's what I'm rocking right you there. No, I. I like those guns, but I just can't. I just can't pull the trigger on them. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna. We, we need to do a video with this sometime. Yeah, yeah, I'll they're shoot. Neat. They're really cool, but uh, the price. I just can't spend fifteen hundred dollars for that gun. I'm sorry. I just can't. My AK it. works yeah. great. <laughs> By the way, there's a guy I think that watches the podcast that has a FS2000 that he was uh, talking to me ooh. about. He was trying to yeah. sell me. FS2000. Sell you. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I don't you know. I feel like you need that in your in your your bullpup collection. Yeah, you know, I would love to have one in the bullpup collection. Um I don't know if I have the money to do all of that right now. But uh, That's why you do some horse trading. Yeah, I asked him if he wanted to do some horse trading. He said no. So, we'll, oh. oh, okay. Yeah. I uh yeah. just don't my I just don't get that excited about that gun. I don't know what it is. What uh, the which one the FS2000? Yeah, I just don't it don't get me like whoa. Well, I think whatever. the thing is now is that um they're not making them anymore. No. So that's no. the thing. There's a reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Walter, what what black powder gun was that? A Colt maybe? That was uh that was a Colt like the Dragon or Dragoon? Dragoon. The, okay. Dragoon. the big, the big Dragoon. one. The really Yeah, that's awesome. a big pistol. Yeah, outlaw Josie yeah. Wales kind of gun, you know. Chris yeah. Chris G was asking. Yeah, so let's look at some news. I think we did discuss that Glock is coming out. I don't know if you heard that baby face. They have uh, Gen 5. They have two more, two new guns coming out in Gen 5 for SHOT Show. Uh, the Glock 26 and the Glock 34 MOS are going to be Gen 5. So there you go. Yeah, That's one of the truth cool. about guns. Um, 26 in Gen 5. Uh, let me look it up. That sounds, that sounds interesting. Yeah, um, Ruger introduces the Ruger Precision Rimfire Rifle. So they've gone. They've gone with the precision line. They've gone to a twenty-two LR. No thanks. So <laughs> am I? Am I still laughing? <laughs> yeah. No thank you for that. Don't want it. Okay. So there you go. Um, for, it's too for, expensive. In those, in those states where you've been neutered, that's where you can have a twenty-two. Um, yeah, but twenty-twos are nice. Well, I don't. I don't know if you. No, I have nothing against them. Yeah. I have nothing against twenty-two. I love twenty-two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then some of the news says Trump slump question mark 2017 second biggest year ever for gun sales. Oh, speaking of that, so like what Trump slump? If it's, yeah. uh, if last year was the biggest, ep second biggest ever, as a bad. manufacturer, as a manufacturer, mm -hmm. we sold more last year than we sold in 2016. Really? really? And Good for you. Um, I think I think you can very very squarely credit. And blame that <laughs> on this dude. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, well here, here's, here's the deal. On January, we didn't even have any barrels for, for most of all of January because we were mm -hmm. changing manufacturers and all that crap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, and even with that, still had a we sold more than the year before. So yeah. Oh, by the way, the guy who I was talking about is in the chat, Chris Illog. He said, "It's me. <laughs> it's me. It's mine. It's, it's me." Please. Chris Illog has it. Chris Illog, and, he, and he's in Florida. He's in Florida. He's a horse breed. But yes, and Chris, if you can, if I can go on a payment program, let's say I pay you like a hundred bucks. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, hundred bucks. It'll take the next three years for you to get your gun. <laughs> <laughs> Will you accept that, Chris? Can I? Can I? Can I pay for it? I'll up to a hundred and a quarter. Okay, I'll take yeah. it. You know what? Like, uh, listen, I'm not as much a baller as people think. I just play one on YouTube sometimes. It Unless looks it like comes with a car. Um, yeah, exactly. Well, you get a lot of those guns if you sold your uh, sold your car. <laughs> no, not good. <laughs> no. I'm not doing that. No. I love my Audis. But, but by the way, can I just I brag a little bit? I, I saw it. I saw it. What What am I gonna say, Walter? Uh, uh, the our your favorite three guy three favorite three automotive the grand guys. tour the yes grand sir tour. i saw that and i was like oh he's balling he's just he's exploding with joy <laughs> so, did they do a, a review of your the, car or something yeah the grand tour had a an audi um they had an audi on there man yes, they did yeah they I, did. was it they the had a TTRS? Uh, yeah it was a ttrs so it was a blue one 
They look cool wow. in blue. Blue. Yeah. Oh, blue. And though. and they actually raced it. What was that go kart thing that was on there? It was a um, it was like a seventy five thousand dollar go kart that was supposed oh, to be all oh. light and fast. An aerial was it an aerial? Uh, I think. Yeah, it, it, was, it was. Yeah, it wasn't the Adam. It was the aerial something like a warthog or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it was a little more, a little, little more uh, race, yeah. uh, off roadish looking. Yeah. So they 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 drag raced it and the Audi won. Then they then they cro then they raced it on dirt like a dirt track. Like um, and the Audi one, the Quattro, yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, do it again. Do that again. That's mm. that's two. That's two. <laughs> that's two cars I've had that. Well, one was on Top Gear with Clarkson and the original crew, which was S two thousand Honda S two thousand. Yes. So, um, uh, Chris Illog says he's going to send it to me, and then we'll be on layaway like Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> if that's for real, Chris, I'm totally down. <laughs> I'm totally down with that. <laughs> A fool in his gun, student part. <laughs> um, Chris, I'm 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 open for that. Oh, Vanessa now, Kitty says she cleared her spare room to have reloading equipment. Hell oh, yeah, like, yeah, that's what I like. There you go. Yeah. So, like I was saying, two cars: one on Top Gear, the the Honda S2000, badass car, and then the uh, Audi TTRS that was on Grand Tour. Is that the same? The one that was at SEMA. Um, yeah, it was the same Nagaro blue. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice color. Whoa. It is a nice color. Um, but that car's fast. Babyface knows that. He almost got a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> he, knows, <laughs> he knows that <laughs> very well. He knows that very well. Oh, so hey, we, uh, we, we didn't get a chance we, to talk about more Christmas presents. Did anybody else get anything else for Christmas? Um, I, got, I, got, I, got no, I got nothing for Christmas from Lola Strange. She's oh, totally like mean to Christmas me. is my two front teeth. I got a copy what is that, of, Walter? Um, which which Hank Walter? Got, I didn't see that. That's out of focus. This is. Wait, what is it? They look like they're like little bullets, stainless steel bullets that you what freeze, and then you put them in oh, your you, you put them in your drink. Oh, very oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah. My daughter gave me that. Yes. Oh, sweet. Okay, Alexis. Yes, Alexis. Yes, you'll see her. That's she's awesome. also coming up here. Yeah. She'll be at Walter shot. does have a daughter. We never show her in any yeah. videos, but I will show her at this. Sh Can I show her a shot show, Walter? Sure. Uh, she'll have the uh, Andrew's custom leather. Uh, yes. A rig on. Yeah. So I think the the firepower guy, rig or whatever it's called. Yeah. yeah. The, the, guys, the guys will enjoy that. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and she loves Hank Strange, right? She said hello. She said hello. Hey. Just hello. Is that oh, it? She didn't say you know. Wait wait wait, like, wait 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 wait. I'm getting I'm getting a I'm getting a communique. What was that, Peggy? Alexis is actually watching me right now. Oh, Alexis, oh, she's watching, watching right, right now. now. Oh, um, yeah. Alexis, how you doing? Um, from Hank Strange, this is not from Walter. We love you, <laughs> and we miss you. Oh, yeah. gorillas and guns! Look, look forward to seeing you at Shot Show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, Alexis is really cool. I actually, I, I like Alexis a lot. She's cool. So there you go. <laughs> so she, we will be showing her. Oh. For wait, are we? Sh is she going to be wearing the power rig? The the, yeah. the fire power rig? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Yeah. She didn't get to wear last year because I didn't get it from Sam in time enough. So yeah. Okay. So she's gonna be wearing the firepower rig from Andrew's custom. Okay. So what other um, baby face were you gonna show? Uh, I no I didn't get any gun stuff I, from Lola Strange. I, I, I didn't just tell stuff. you the guys that Marley, right now. Lola got me no guns. She was really mean to me. <laughs> Marley um, got me a copy of Super Mario Odyssey for the Switch, which is if anybody out there is a video gamer and has a Nintendo Switch, game of the year. Like it is incredible. Marley and I have sat down and played through the whole game since Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> I actually bought two Nintendo Switches. Oh, get, get your, if you didn't get your kids Odyssey, wait for birthdays yeah. and get them Odyssey because it's incredible. They're not kids. They're, not, they're grown they're still ass. They're kids. They're grown they're ass kids. men. Are they your kids? They're your kids. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. I don't uh, know. I'm waiting then, for the genetic test to come back. And then my parents got me uh -huh. a uh, Pro Controller, which it's an 8-bit Do Pro Controller for the Switch. Uh, it's a little bit cheaper than the real Pro Controller, and it's shaped like a uh, SNES controller, which is it's really a cool. It's bigger, too, isn't it? A little bit. Same, size as, same exact size as the SNES. Yeah. So you didn't get any gun-related stuff from Marley, huh? Uh, no. Odyssey was pretty good, though. Should we put should we she put? Allows me, she allows we, me to go and buy stuff at the pawn shop, whatever. Oh, so we shouldn't put her on blast on the wall? No, game, no she, like she allows me to go. And then I got her, uh, <laughs> I got her an Eno uh, yeah. hammock for Christmas. Yeah. Honestly, Lola gets me whatever the hell I want. Yeah. Uh, when I bought that Audi, I literally, uh, <laughs> Lola and I were out, and I was like, "Oh, can we just stop by the by this Audi dealership that's here in Gainesville? Uh, uh, it's uh, brand new. Uh, uh, you know, maybe they have some nice stuff in there. We could just walk uh, around." You dirty and dog. She, and she bought me that Audi, so that's my Christmas present. I don't need. Oh, and no, wait, that's not true. And she bought me this crazy ass cologne 
that looks like a gold bar, which uh, oh. doesn't make any sense kind of sense to me. Well, I tell you what, instead but, of instead of cologne that looks like a gold bar, you get a gold bar that looks like a gold bar, then you just rub it on the <laughs> yeah, Exactly. I like the smell of that. That's like just when you gold. get a big wad of cash. Uh -huh. you know, I don't know if you've had a big wad of cash before. When you get a big wad of I'm not saying anything. Do we? I'm not answering this. A big wad of hundred dollar bills and just yeah. Smell all those germs. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. Do you know how many how many germs are on cash? Oh, I'll you take could, uh, uh, I'll take all you can give me. Um, yeah. Jesus. Uh, all right. Hey, uh, random. Uh, I'll ask after this. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, so so here, here's somebody the thing. just reminded me they they got a drill press for Christmas, and now now oh, that I have drill a press? Uh, oh, now that I have a drill machine. Uh, I don't really need my old drill press any longer, so I don't know if uh, Big Daddy Guns needs a drill press. I'll donate mine. Oh, we can ask him. Yeah, because I know they need tools, and if you and need to drill press, it's theirs. Before I forget their uh, baby face, I got a whole bunch of uh, high-speed speed, uh, high speed steel end mills. Ooh. A whole bunch that you can um, use. Play around with? Good. I, I, that's awesome. I need... I need a whole bunch. A whole bunch. You just have a pile of old end mills or something. Well, I bought a whole bunch of stuff from auctions, and they just we don't use high speed steel in the in the CNC stuff. Oh, do you so, use uh, what do you guys use? Like carbide, like, mostly carbide only. Carbide, cobalt, stuff like that. Hell yeah, high speed steel is. Um, I mean, yeah, from working on aluminum, it's perfect. Oh, per yeah, yeah. Some are a lot of them are brand new. So, hell yeah, thanks. Yeah, we'll yeah, work. So, it so check this out. Let's get to some new stuff here. Uh, we're kind of like in our last half hour. Okay. So. so Go ahead. The Texas woman, is that what you want to bring up? Uh, I am going to bring that up. I just posted something in here um, that something oh. from a post from, from Anonymous Strange. Um, and this is Army on um, U.S. Army for Life. And it's ballistic knife fires the blade with the push of a button. Those are illegal in the U.S., unfortunately. <laughs> That's got the Smith & Wesson logo on it. <laughs> Otherwise, I would freaking own one. Does that say something? I think that's FN. Yeah. Is that Smith & Wesson or FN? Um, I can't read that. It, it looks like FN to me, but I can't tell from. But the underneath it, it looks like Smith and Wesson. I'm pretty sure ballistic knives using an explosive charge to propel the blade may be yeah. restricted as an AOW. Yeah, they're illegal. That's what it says. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think in That's Florida true. they're illegal, which is unfortunate because I would own one if they weren't. Yeah. Well, they're not illegal. You just have to write a five dollar tax stamp. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. That, That's saying if it uses an explosive, like you use a. A deep prime or a, just a primer. Oh, like a primer, yeah. If it's spring loaded, oh, I don't that's know. cool. Spring loaded is probably not, no. Mm -hmm. Because there's no there's no firearm Wait, stuff to it. Why so. the hell do I need that? I don't know, but I want it. Oh, oh I don't matter <laughs> I if you want it. it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a matter of need it. <laughs> did you watch the video? Yeah, I did. That's cool. That thing no, I didn't look at the video. dug into the plastic. Oh, yeah, yeah that's cool. I didn't even Jesus. look at that yet. But uh, I totally need it. Yes. <laughs> There could be a situation where I have to um, defend myself Ballistic with a yeah. bottle or something with that. <laughs> so there you go. Um, so the thing I did want to talk about, and this is, um, I think, let me see. I'm going to try. This is on Fox News. So I, um, here, let, me, let me post this. Real huh? quick. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I did look at the Wolf and Tula ban. That, mm -hmm. um, That's old news. No, oh, did you guys already discuss this? No, 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 no. no. no okay, we did. Yeah, no. Um, back in beginning of December, they put a restriction on the parent company that owns the factory that is which where's where Tula ammunition is made. Um, so it's there's speculation, but I don't think there's there's no hard facts on if it's banned. I don't I don't think it is. Oh. Basically, what it comes down to is I don't think it is. Speaking of speaking of that part of the world. Did, did you see where Barrett just got a ginormous contract for the Ukraine? No. Oh, really? $41 million. Whoa. For, Whoa. Uh, for their rifle. Yeah. Balling. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, if, I hope if they that, gave out some nice uh, Christmas bonuses over there. I think if that factory is in the Ukraine, it's not going to get banned. So, uh, Or the Ukrainian ammunition won't get banned anyway. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what else? Yeah. There? So you know what? Um you know, oh, hold on. What is this? Uh, Jackson Oldman says, uh, what is this? What did he, uh, I also got a uh, Bergara HMR in 6.5. Okay. Bergara. Melissa Kitty would rather have oh, C4. Bergara. Okay, Bergara. Or the Bergara, yeah. They're, they're a barrel manufacturer, but I guess they're doing complete guns now, too. Yeah. yeah. When, they first, yeah. when they first came into the, started selling here, I think it's Spanish, if I'm not mistaken. Um they were kind of courting me about barrels, but yeah. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, you know, in regards to the ammo, man, I hate to see like more ammo actually no. get on that list or whatever. But that's how shit. Yeah. yeah. What what list? If you if you need ammo, I mean. Oh, you okay? When I'm the prices sorry. are good, I say get some ammo, but don't go crazy. No, I mean right now yeah. with the re the rebates from federal, you can't beat that. Jesus, I know. I just got another thousand rounds with fifty dollars off, so that's yeah. Mm -hmm. I've never seen two two three for two forty nine a thousand. If it has, it's been way back, maybe in the eighties. I my reloading is is just a little bit under that, I think. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's okay. crazy. Yeah, there's some really good prices out there and stuff right now. Not that anyone needs to go crazy. Just like no, whatever no. it is you have, you, you know, you have some money. I don't up on it. I don't see the that ending anytime soon. I mean, it might end for <laughs> a while. Of, yeah. Sugar baby, you can't sell black talents. Don't you know that? <laughs> um. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what? Oh, he's asking about the uh, what's well, black, a black, talent, black talent worth? <laughs> stop selling it. Well, it's worth, back, it. it's worth a back alley hand job. How about that? So, yeah. speaking of which, how much um, how much of black marketing is going on right now in California when it comes to ammo? <laughs> Seriously, I. I those what do you have idiots. to go through now to get ammo in yeah, California? Because you officially, now that we're in the new year, you can't do that anymore, right? Idiots. What do you What do you have to do to get it now? I don't know. Did you? I, um, know. I think you have to go into gun stores, right? And you have to do. They're gonna get your driver's stuff. license and all that stuff. So it's ah, ridiculous. I mean, it's like back in the old days. You guys aren't old enough to remember, but that's what you used to do when you went. You went into a Walmart, or excuse me, a, like a Kmart, or a, a, when you went to buy ammo, they had a book, and you bought. Five boxes of ammo, and they wrote your name and your driver's license down in the book. Wait, they used to do that? Yes. Why? Really? Why? Yes. Yeah. I remember as a child that happening. Yeah. Why? Yeah, that's weird. Florida so, had so, that. So, so in 1920, they were doing that. <laughs> uh, no, back in 1920, you could still <laughs> go buy dynamite. <laughs> you could go to your home goods store and buy dynamite at the time. Hello. You yeah, know what? You I could... um, I bet you Walter did not miss <laughs> coming on the show. <laughs> These last couple of weeks, <laughs> Walter though legit when you were a kid. Lola was, was like, trying to text yeah. Walter; yes. he wasn't even you answering. <laughs> yes, I remember that. I mean, yeah. I, I, like you know, what what do you got to fill out this thing to get ammo for? That's just the way it is, you know. Mm. It's weird. That was in Florida, though. So. Oh yeah, some silly law that someone had, and, and they finally got away with it, crap, because it doesn't yeah. do anything anyway. So no, um, yeah. But, so there you go. So let's uh, let's jump into this news here on Fox. I think I shared it. It says uh, this is the headline. This is on Fox. Texas woman nineteen. Oh yeah. Who yeah. killed New Year's Eve date? Planned to steal his guns. Prosecutors say. She and then did. there's a picture of her up there. Nuts. Yeah. Not, um, Yvonne uh, Raquel Ramirez, nineteen, was arrested for allegedly, allegedly murdering a man on New Year's Eve. Um, so a Texas woman accused in the fatal New Year's Eve shooting of a man she was dating had stolen his guns before yeah. the murder, prosecutors said Tuesday. Yeah. And then trying to ransom them, ransom, ransom them back to him. Yeah. Is that what she was trying to do? Yeah. yeah. She was arrested and charged in the death of Joshua McKinney, 19. She was hospitalized um, with a gunshot wound to her shoulder. Ramirez reportedly met McKinney recently, and the two had been spending time together before the deadly shooting. Um, according to this news channel, KTRK, she allegedly stole McKinney's guns, and when they met up again, Ramirez told McKinney she would give him the weapons back if he paid her $2,000 for them. <laughs> yeah. At some point, Ramirez also told authorities she fired the weapon out of self-defense. Okay. So that's what they're saying. Wow. Uh, they uh, accused her of killing her New Year's Eve date in Baytown, planned, the rob um, planned on robbing him of his guns. So there you go. Jesus. You know what? There's that be saying. Be careful. You, you start no shit, there'll be no shit. <laughs> she started the shit, and guess what? Yeah. yeah. So I guess maybe they got into a struggle or whatever. But, you know, this is the thing out there. One, you want to be careful. Um, who you, who know, you hang with. Chicks and letting them have access. to. I don't know Fair how the hell stuff. that happens. Oh, okay. yeah. um, letting well, somebody, anyone have access to your guns, actually, you need to be really careful about that. Yeah. Somebody earlier had mentioned that Palmetto State Armory is now selling... 224 Valkyrie ammo? Yes. They don't have yes. a gun for it yet. No but. guns, but ammo, yes. Oh, pretty I, cool. I would stay away from all that. Give it about a year. Yeah. It's like it's like when 300 Blackout 300 was Blackout. Out. There was, yeah, yeah. You had to make your own ammo. The ammo was super expensive. Yep. Um, and then it, yeah, then it all kind of it all kind of trickled out. So, yeah. Um, if you if yeah. you got to get a Woody and get some Valkyrie, go get it. But I wouldn't do it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, Kentucky Firearm says it looks like he's having some issues. So um, I know I did see him earlier. He says uh, he keeps getting kicked offline. I don't know why. 
I'm, uh, we're still um, uh, well, you know what you know it's oh. funny i plugged i plugged in i plug in my network cable and i always forget to turn the wi-fi off so let's try that there we go yeah, <laughs> yeah 904 says um at 300 blackout still is it cheap like 223 no never will um, be. have it's you guys crazy, seen any though. good 300 blackout prices out there yeah my remanufactured stuff <laughs> <laughs> nothing um, nothing nothing like Oh my God! I gotta buy. I I do need to get some. That's the thing. I need to buy a couple thousand rounds of it. Yeah. But should you? Uh, where's the? You know what? Hold on a second. Let me. You, let me you ask Lola to do something. <laughs> actually, actually, I have a contact for it here now too. Actually, for uh, three inch black. Uh, well, yeah, fancy brass. Fancy brass has some good stuff. A local fancy manufacturer here too, locally. So. And by the way, um, Big Daddy Guns is doing a bunch of. I, I can't tell you the timing or whatever. I'll try to share it if I, I get it. But Big Daddy Guns and Fancy Brass are doing some things. So if you're here in the Gainesville area, um, but you can also get in online with them. Look, check that out. Oh, Fancy Brass. Why not? I'm going to just take that opportunity those are, to show you the Fancy Brass. Cool. That's the yeah. stuff we shot the other day, that, a couple yeah. weeks and ago. This right? is good yeah. stuff. Yeah, we tried the sampler pack for 300 Blackout. And, um, and I like that. <laughs> we, tried other, we tried other different things from 300 Blackout stuff, and it wasn't working in that gun, remember? Right, right. And then we tried this. We tried his sampler pack, and everything worked. But this is the 220 grain TMJ SP subsonic stuff. Man, that's some hog yeah, some hog That's some hog rounds. Those, yeah, yeah those yeah. definitely are. So, we uh, um, and fancy brass can like you know if you really if you really need a lot of three hundred blackout you can Walter I can well, uh, connect you with him and he can you know we'll see I also want to mention this weekend to. this weekend I'm going to be involved in a machine gun shoot down here Ooh. locally at the Wyoming Antelope Club oh cool um, okay uh what days is that let's that is on Saturday on Saturday on Saturday what time um uh, what time does it start. I'll have to check on that and get the time we talk again. Yeah, but, um, yeah, we'll, yeah. so the next time Walter comes, we'll try to get you some more details. But this Saturday, what was it called? What, the Wyoming Antelope Club. Okay, there you go. So anyone that is in, in the That is in in the city, so it's not like out in the country or anything like that. So It's an indoor range? It's outside, but it's oh. all baffled and everything. I've never so. heard of it. Okay. Yeah, it's been around for a long time. So. Ooh. Yeah. Um, uh, Recall Junkies out of here. Thanks, Recall Junkie. Peace out, man. We'll see you next time. Uh, Firearm Rack says uh, three. Uh, so that's you know who that is. That's Patrick R. He yeah. says three hundred black is around thirty six cents per round. Not too bad. So yeah. shout out to Patrick. No, not too bad. And yeah. a lot, Happy a lot New more, Year also to Patrick. Yeah, a lot, a lot of bigger manufacturers are doing it now too. I've seen the Seller Bellet. Is doing it also. That stuff is yeah. down fairly cheap. Yeah, they've yeah. got some good stuff. They've yeah, got some good yeah. prices on. Well, not we. I mean, what we tried it was fine. It worked great, but their prices are actually pretty good too. Yeah, yeah. yeah Cellier and Bellet was. Yeah, yeah. They've, have, they've had some cheap stuff lately. That's uh, Czech Republic, right? Is, is it? that? Yeah, they're in the Czech Republic, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Or, or the they're the other one. Uh, the other ones that broke apart with the Czechs. Um, Let's see. This, uh, yeah. Shout out to Rod Mills. He's also in the chat. What's up, Rod, Rod Mills? Mills? From the Czech Republic. They're yeah, founded in. Oh, they are. Okay. Yeah. Yep. It sounds like a British thing. No. I thought but it sounded like Swedish. Or and Bellot. <laughs> Sella Bellot. Yeah. Look, here, this would be. A oh, wait a minute. Commercial. Wait a minute. Here we go. Sella Bellot. Yes. Yeah. I'll have some of that. You know. Yeah. <laughs> you know it'll be a good commercial. Like two Rolls Royces pull up next to each other, <laughs> and then the person comes out and goes. Pardon me, do you have some silly and bellet? <laughs> no, but I do have some great poupon. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. <laughs> By the way, guys, um, I think next week I'm driving a Rolls Royce Wraith. Oh, yeah. No. That's happening. Yes. Where are you going? <laughs> I don't know. Who are you stealing? Around town. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone's going someone's gonna, to um, let me drive there. Um, I don't know if you guys saw this, but on my, on my Instagram, I put up the um, – what is it? The spirit of ecstasy popping out of the hood of a Rolls Royce, and I'm actually going to borrow that sometime next week. Ah. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do. We'll just like drive around <laughs> around town for a little pa while. Pardon me, man. Do we have some great poupon? <laughs> yeah, I'm um, fire up. Patrick wants to know if we're done talking about the Glock. Just type it out. I was going to say I say it's stupid. <laughs> Hank and Walter are indifferent, and Kevin thinks it's good. Yeah, tell us what you what you think, Patrick. You're welcome to tell us what you think. So I don't know. Um, you have to get in touch with Lola if you want to come on and tell us what you think. I'm fine with that too. We only got ten minutes, man. Honey, what yeah. are you talking about? No I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm already yawning over here. 
So he says, sad, it's a solid concept if you see the potential. So that's what Patrick is saying, I see here. Um, he like said, said, check out his Instagram. So <laughs> on uh, the firearm rack on Instagram, he's got some stuff, so check that out. Okay. Yeah, yeah, pimp my Instagram. Check check out mine. It's, uh, and wait, do I even have one? No, I don't think I even have yeah, one. Yeah, no. You should. <laughs> pa unlike this knucklehead babyface, he, I don't. I don't post yeah. pictures. Patrick, Patrick, face, what are you doing? Bloody hell! What are you doing? Patrick now? actually has an Instagram, and he actually posts stuff up there. Nope, don't use it. Yeah. So there Time you go. Time for a spot or two, you know. Yeah. yeah. That's right. And uh, you know, um, says Roland Special Nineteen X is fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Crossover Glock. So I guess he did a Roland. Did you do a Roland Special out of the Nineteen X already? Oh, oh boy. a Roland Special. I mean, like. Yeah, he says he can't post pics. Um, okay, Patrick knows a way to post pics in here, but I have no idea. Oh, I've never. I've Babyface what? knows how to. No, you can't. No, yeah, you can only post a link to pictures, right? Yeah, you post can. links. I, I, I put. Let mine me on, look uh, on his. On let me look on Patrick's Instagram. Hold on a second. I put mine on Imgur and then post them up. Yeah. Okay. So let me look up uh, the firearm rack. <laughs> Why are we looking at pictures of Glock 19 Xs? Yeah, I don't I have I can, no idea. I can look anywhere. He's got. I, uh, I can just Google hey, it and go look at it. <laughs> what are we doing? On that, on that, <laughs> on that, on that uh, site formerly known as yeah, text it to me or something because oh, is it called the? I forgot what his thing is. So which one are we boycotting? Truth about guns? No. The firearms blog. Firearms blog. Firearms blog. That's anyways. It. On the firearms blog, they have I guess the Rinko's knocking off. It looks like a scar, but it actually actually internally looks more like a uh, the Bushmaster. The Rinko will knock off anything. I swear. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, the ACR. Yeah, it, it, the way the the pictures and the way the barrel comes out looks like an ACR, but they're saying it's nice. like a scar. So, um, yeah. Well, it's you know. Uh, unfortunately, we will not be seeing those anytime soon. Uh, maybe the Canadians, maybe <laughs> the Canadians will, but we won't. So, um, they get yeah. some pretty cool stuff. Then they have another article. About Syrian remotely operated Dishka Sham R three revealed. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm. I mean, didn't we see that before the remotely? No, we no. Saw something the about other thing. Oh, oh, so the other thing about the MHS Glock nineteen that they didn't put out. I would have actually bought one if they would have put out the MHS nineteen, like the nineteen X, with the safety on the side. Just because I think it's goofy. I would have bought one just for that reason. Oh, because that's a military requirement? Because it was a military requirement. But they got uh, rid of it because it's a Glock. Or it's a Glock with a safety, which... Yeah, that, all that's those why people, I... Yeah. I totally would have bought it because it's a Glock with a safety. Totally. Well, you know, but, all those people who uh, write books and like, and then he took off the, the safety on his Glock. <laughs> can't use the Glock. <laughs> they would finally, finally be right about something, I guess. Oh, okay. You know, but... Um, have you guys yeah, watched I, any I of the um, seen that picture, Patrick? If you got a picture, text me or whatever, and I'll and I'll show it. What's that? Walter? Have you guys watched any of the um, the the footage from the Philippines at the Marari or where where the where the ISIS took over the town? No, uh, and, and the Filipinos took it back. Um, no. if you get a chance, watch some of that combat stuff or the stuff when they're in the town fighting. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's is it <laughs> bad in the sense that like. Because I, I used to like Afghan aiming? fighters or Iraqis shooting, and they just like shoot over their head. Like, no, well, uh, the Fili not so much the Filipinos, but they, but the town has been completely just boom. oh decimated. Fuck yeah, they artillery and air 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 strikes and 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 you know we're talking about a town with tin roofs and you know like city a, of Marawi. Is that yeah. what it is? you haven't heard about that? No, I haven't seen this. Where you guys been, man? <laughs> cool. That's Celebrating been going Christmas. On for, it's been going on for over way over a month or so. Patrick, I mean. Patrick doesn't look at the news unless it's related to video games, or guns. porn, or gun. <laughs> <laughs> he, doesn't look, he doesn't look it up. Okay, so here's uh, Patrick's picture of the uh, – let me see if we can get that oh, okay. up there. Uh, so there you go. A black slide? Yeah. That angle makes it look like the grip size is a 19 because yeah. of the angle of it, I think. But it's not. It's seven. Not That's like, goofy as fuck. Yeah, not, like yeah. So there we go. I don't know if it's focusing. Maybe there. There you go. So. Oh, also, I mentioned yeah. earlier about uh, Pakistan. You hear what's going on in Pakistan? No. They're making. They got like sixty thousand li licensed legally machine guns in Pakistan, or sixty thousand licensed holders. They're making them either turn the guns in 
or turn him into semi-auto. What? Yeah. Wow. That's also. And this is in Pakistan. Yes. Yes. So. Um, Nine hundred four says, "Oh, that's the three thousand dollar Glock." <laughs> okay, so so it's a Glock thirty four length slide in comp. This thirty four is the long slide, right? Uh, so it's yeah, like a Glock seventeen yeah. L. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Patrick says it's awesome. So there you go. <laughs> Everything oh, is awesome. awesome. Yeah, Patrick, do you actually have one? You know, if you actually have one, you can uh, come on sometime and show it to us. And I'll get it. Uh, you know, Chris Illog says, uh, Walter, they finally pushed them out yeah, of the town did. around November slash December. But it, it took a long time. It was a lot of fighting. It it, it took a lot longer than than people were thought it would. So yeah. um, it's kind of yeah. the, uh, the ISIS types kind of think like almost considered a victory. but um, Because yeah. they held the ground for so long? Because, yeah, because it took so long for them to be routed. Yeah. But um, it's also a study in urban um, slum, yeah. slum kind of battle stuff, which – yeah. Oh, I wouldn't even imagine fighting in that kind of condition. So now, speaking of urban slums, did you guys see that there was a fire at the uh, Clintons? Uh, <laughs> that's the that's a whore, That's a whorehouse. Come on, that's not a slum. That's a whorehouse. Yeah, there was a big fire over there. Apparently, that's where they run. The, I wonder what they were burning, man. What were they probably burning? burning documents. That's what they're yeah, probably what burning. Were they burning up over there in. Uh, it's yeah. finishing off that server, the one they didn't it's like find. Like 2018, let's burn this down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that their their shit's not over with yet. We watch. I'm telling you, I'm not even Hill, kidding. Hillary that fire is not an accident. That's Hill somebody's body being disposed of. Yeah. Or oh, you know, maybe there. it was a two shot, a two shot suicide. You know, I, you know, <laughs> two uh, shot suicide. <laughs> Well, they always shoot him in the back of the head two I times. Know, I you know. know. No, I, I understand what you're so saying. So now, unfortunately, that just reminded me. Did you guys see this thing that happened with YouTube? Where there was oh. a guy, there's a, some big oh, YouTuber. Logan Paul? Oh, fuck yeah. Did yeah. you he see? Has like, he has like 15 million followers and he was in Japan he's, and he went he's to. He's a retard. He's well known to be a retard. Yeah, what so he went, to this, he went to this suicide forest, which I didn't know there was such a thing as a suicide Here, forest. Well, so there is them. a documentary on Vice about that forest and it's actually really interesting. Um, a book was written in the 80s that uh, the, it's really popular in Japan, I think. And these two kids. Uh, in the book, went and committed suicide in the forest. And since then, it has become the place to go in Japan to commit suicide. Oh, geez. Uh, That's yeah, so so you rut routinely, as you're hiking in there, you can, it's common to find bodies. It's not Smell? unheard of to find a body. Yeah, so, so, this, this so he went in there, uh, and found a body, and then showed it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, and, filmed uh, it and is laughing and like, oh God. I, I understand not knowing how to react to a dead body, like I, I get that. But the laughing but, part, that's not. But the reaction that he had was yeah. just completely. Yeah, why, but why do you even want to put that on YouTube? Yeah, and, so and then here's the thing YouTube with contention. Like for a lot of us who get like all kinds of problems, people get their channels deleted, people get you know videos <laughs> deleted and all that, and strikes and everything against them. Um, I think YouTube just snapped slapped him on the wrist. Um, he, he did he did fun. delete the video. He he's, a, he's got 15 million subs. He makes them way too much money for them to be deleting did, his stuff. Speaking of YouTube, did you did you hear? This might not be new. I just saw it recently. The YouTube CEO, which is some young woman, um, said that mm -hmm. if you interrupt a female when she's talking to you, that is like sexual harassment. <laughs> what? So if you're having a conversation like we do and you interrupt me in the middle – you're sexually harassing Oh, me. if that's the case, I sexually see, harass the living see, daylights out of Lola all the time. Because I, I always I interrupt think, her. <laughs> that is so big difference. This is one of the big differences between men and women. I because I, I get there are coworkers that I have that will go ape shit if you like interrupt them. I'm like, no, this is just how like this is just how I talk with people. I'm not being rude. I'm not But also how did that come to the level of sexual harassment? Yeah, this, just, maybe this woman that's being this rude. woman, every other word she said was like. <laughs> like, 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 and so, so oh, she's God. she's in charge of a of of a like a billion dollar company, I guess, whatever they call that, and she's she's upset when she she allows herself to be interrupted. Oh usually, yeah, see that's me. I would just usually not. the CEO of the company is going to say, <clears throat> "You're not Chris interrupting Toon. me." <laughs> Chris Toon says she is the sister of the woman who is married to one of Google's founders. Oh well, hello. I wonder what, how that yeah. she got that. How job. did that happen? Yeah. yeah, I mean it's not, not it's not it's the typical not know who you know, but who you 
Blow? Really no. <laughs> um, <laughs> Brian Quick says, can a husband sexually harass his wife? I'm sure. Depends on what world you live in. If I don't get interrupted four or five times, I'm not know what's going on. You know, I mean, like, uh, yeah. Listen, man, this social justice warrior bullshit. I'm, is I'm offended. Deep. You interrupted me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's stupid. I'm so it's getting I'm real, scared of my it's shadow. Real, 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 real deep. Yeah. It's getting really deep. Okay. Um. Uh, I think we're trying to wait for Patrick R says he does have this gun and he's going to come on. So let's give him a little bit of time to come on here and just at least show us the gun. Well, to get ready so for Patrick, I think, to get I think ready Lola, for Patrick. Send him, send oh, yeah. Him. We can get ready. Hold on. I'm, I'm with you. Let's do this. Oh, Lord. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Gotcha. Okay. I promise you people out there in, in <laughs> YouTube land, the knuckleheadedry. <laughs> I just, it's not going happened. anywhere. The first time I pulled the boat back, I have one of these dumb Yugoslavian magazine, and it wouldn't let me. It held oh, open. Hold open. It held open. That was a, that was the same thing. I did it with the Benelli, and it's it locked it's open. open. I had to hit the button. Damn it! <laughs> All right. Um, so Tyven that. Show uh, asked this question, Walter. He says, um, "Next time." Um, it's re he says it's reported that if you have weapons at Shot Show, you'll have to pay a third party to get your guns into the convention center. I don't know what that's about. Um, if you, I, I'm sure the you what? guys have a different way that you get your gun. I don't know what Tyvin's talking about there. You're gonna have to elaborate on that, Tyvin, or send us a link. Um, Every, here, here's how it works. Here's how it works. And people want to know what's the flip side of that woman thing. If women interrupt us, then what? Like, what do uh, we consider sexual problem. harassment? Right. Then, then you're then they're exerting their vagina. Vagina. <laughs> <laughs> you know their vagina talks for them. Their vagina talks for them, right? Yeah. So, the monologues. Yeah. Um, so, and and uh, Rod Mills wants to know how we like the Ruger GP100. I have no. What the hell is that? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a revolver. A, revolver. A knockoff python is what it is. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, is that what Rod Mills is trying to say? Rod, no. It's we God, absolutely love it. It's Ruger 357 mag revolver. Yeah. I I've never shot one. I don't like their button system their 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 grip is kind of weird look it's got a weird shape to it too it's more oh so well, i'm um, trying to figure out why rod is asking me about it or uh, maybe i put up a picture somewhere sometimes i throw up pictures of guns uh, at this in the store that doesn't mean okay. i shot them or anything so, like so that. on a colt on a colt revolver you pull back to release the cylinder right. on a smith and wesson you push forward yes ruger you actually push inwards to release it and i think it's weird uh, it's but that's only because i'm used to to the the smith and the colt mm. Um, yeah, I'm not that familiar with the Ruger. So the one, the one cool thing that they did, where uh, Colt and Smith both have side plates that come off. You take the side plate off to get to the components. Right. Um, Ruger is a dropout at the bottom, I think. So you unscrew it on the bottom, and oh, the no. little trigger group pops out. Pulls the out. Yeah. yeah, it's it's kind of. I'll give them credit. That's kind of a neat idea. Like a cartridge. So sort of. Yeah, I think I think that's how it comes out. That's cool. Okay. Because these things are are finicky as hell to get apart. Trying to get the side plate off one of oh, these and not crazy. damage something when you're when it's. Oh. God, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> would you, um, Babyface, would you like to sell that to me for 50 bucks? <laughs> 50, a month? 50, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to buy that from you. That'll take 50, 50 bitcoins for it. That's going to take a lot, 50 lot of, of payoff time. Yeah. Did you guys see the guy that bought a, um, a Lambo with, a, with Bitcoin? Was no. he the one that invested way back, way, way back? Yeah, and yeah. Became like an overnight millionaire? Uh, oh, so. I'm not sure, but there was there's a show. I think it's Ben Wiki where this guy that bought he's on there. He's talking about buying a Lambo with good Bitcoin. Made a good yeah. investment. That is that is the best part of capitalism. Yeah, it looks like we got Walter. Uh, we got excuse me, not Walter Patrick. Patrick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he goes. <laughs> he's on. Yeah. Showing. Yeah. Okay. Look at that right there. That's what you guys want to see. Okay, so this is the uh, really. X19, huh? <laughs> It doesn't look that bad. It, it doesn't look that bad. I, like I mean, the obviously, I like there's the some memes of it out there. I think it looks it's bad. I think don't... it's stupid. That's because you don't get it. I don't get it. I, yeah, I want it up, a 17 hold it up there for a second until we can at least right. make a. Um, we need a mix. We can at least make a thumbnail out of it. I'll I'll do that in a second with better light. But let me oh, okay. uh, talk about why it's relevant. So what you're missing is. If you send a slide off to get all fixed up, now these this isn't like an everybody uh, consumer type thing. This is something that would be more applicable to like a duty user, like a, a SWAT team guy or somebody who's kicking indoors, shooting people in the face, or whatever. If you slide a Glock 19 upper, 
that's been milled, the compensator, red dot, and a light, you've got a pretty reasonably sized package now that's going to fit in existing duty holsters that's pointable like a Glock 17. Yeah, I always have a reasonably sized package, but... Don't get it. Ahead. Still don't get it. <laughs> no. Um, I see. If I'm going to mill a 19, I'm just going to mill my 19. Why do I, I, what, I don't get it. I still because, don't get it. These are, because these are more pointable. Like it's, it's going to come up on target faster. It's more comfortable to shoot. Like ah, you're just flat going to be faster. Disagree. Totally disagree. My, my 19 fits my hand way better than a 17. My hands fit a 19 better. I have little hands. It's a 19 way better than a 17. I don't have large hands either, and I fit a, a 17 better by so, far. So what is it uh, that you don't like in there, uh, baby face? Is it that, like, you're going smaller slide, smaller barrel, you know, but bigger? Oh, it's definitely, it's definitely not a – it's definitely not for your con average consumer. Because, mm -hmm. like, no. it's the opposite direction. Um, every, every concealed carrier knows that a smaller frame is easier to conceal than a smaller – barrel or a, a shorter uh, shorter slide yeah i think so what so what patrick is, but patrick so is saying that that's you, this though. is for like it's special not, operators yeah, no it's yeah. not for your average consumer which is fucking stupid <laughs> well it was it, 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 it was never it was never designed for the average it came person, about right? as, the, as the competition to get the army the, the deal so. but i thought the 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 m17 was going to be a full-size duty no no no, it needed to have a 17 rack capacity. What it submitted was, I thought, a, a full-size duty and a, a compact duty. Right, yeah, but look at the 509. The 509 is basically FN submission as well. That was a one-gun solution, too. So they ran a – get the slide off here. They ran a short slide to maintain the plain clothes requirement for, like, what would be – I think they used, what, a SIG 228 – uh, prior to the MHS, the M17 being adopted, or M19, whichever one's the sh short one, right? So you've got a short slide to fit that requirement. And then to fit the straight-up duty requirement, you've got a full-size grip. So, so it was, was straight from military. military. Yep. Yeah, so it, this, this, is, what, this is what the Army asked for, right, Patrick? Why did they ask for that? And what did they ask for um, specifically? I, you know, <laughs> you'd have to read the contract uh, line for line to figure that out. But basically, they wanted a gun that fitted about 90, 95% of people um, that could be used in either a combat role or a plain clothes, like, uh, you know, garrison police situation. Yeah, police guy. So, yeah. yeah, so, I mean, it's not designed for the concealed carrier in mind. It never was. Uh, the 509 was never designed with the concealed carrier in mind. Um, and I mean, they're, they were more focused on getting that. Now, people are going to buy this left and right because eventually people are going to see the value in a full-size grip on a gun. Um, I mean, I don't care what you say. If, if I've got the choice between um, tossing this in my rig to go to work and kicking a door at a meth house, like I'm going to do it because that's my only option previous to the Glock 19X. Now that I've got the ability to toss that slide or a, a get this slide milled to mirror this, right? Um, and have a full size grip. I'm gonna go for that every time because it just feels better in my hand. I don't have to dick around with like weird things on the magwell right here. Yeah, because if you try to get to where you can see that, you see there's a limited amount of real estate in there, and mm -hmm. this doesn't feel as good. Do some of these I mean, guys? Are some of these guys using gloves and things like that? That. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like you anything. absolutely, probably you absolutely would wear uh, gloves if you're. In the door of a yeah. jack den in. Right, because you don't know what the hell you're going to touch and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, in, I mean, a, I, in, I, in a military situation, it's a little different. Yeah. yeah. I, get, I get everybody's anger about the Glock 19X. But no anger here. <laughs> That's not no angry. Anger. I think it's stupid. <laughs> um, I think okay. I think there is some anger from some people. I think, yeah. I think an they engineer. Want, they I were think expecting engineer, something different. I think Glock lost the contract, so the engineering group team was like, "We just spent so many millions of dollars to develop this. You need to make that money back somehow." Well, yeah, and of Glock is like, "All right, we got to sell it to the mass market. Somebody's stupid." And I and, and they probably and will make that money. Oh, yeah, not make it back the first day. Yep. Yeah. It's even sort of how it happened. So um, <laughs> when I was at Glock, they went in detail. Uh, Gaston was absolutely involved in making sure that this was a thing. Lola, um, Lola uh, wants you to hold it. up both at the same time, Patrick, if you can. All right. Yeah, I, uh, I shall. She says, uh, can Patrick hold both Glocks side by side? Yeah. So there you go. Oh, we got. He's, yeah, he's um, creeping in here. Look at him. He's creeping in. 
No, yeah. that's, that's Kevin. He, Kevin went off to hang out with Colin Colion Noir. Uh, yeah, it properly. just wrap so that interview up. Now he's coming back to slum with the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> One minute. Let's see. Is this uh... All right? So yeah, that looks better. Let me turn yeah. a little bit. Uh, don't turn it. Okay, you're turning in. You're turning into the light source, but okay. There you go. Okay. Yeah, it's the best I can best okay. I can get you. Yeah, that's now. good right there. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Okay. If you're using this as a thumbnail. <laughs> good luck to us. <laughs> oh, you're gonna mess up the thumbnail? Thanks a lot, man. Thanks a lot. We're gonna put a red nose on you. <laughs> that's fine. That works for me. You did that last time. Well, yeah. No, that was me. I put the red nose on me. Yeah. So Kevin, you're um, coming back in. Um, Patrick R is here. That's um, good. I like that. Firearm rack. <laughs> Patrick from the firearm rack is here, Kevin, and he actually has the uh, X19. Oh, he's got it. Okay. Yeah. So this is a war of the Patricks right now. Babyface Patrick thinks war. that it's ugly, and he calls bullshit. And it's not. It's not a gun for me. It was. Yeah, and Patrick not R says me, it's an awesome gun. One. No, it wasn't designed for you. And like. I, I don't know. I mean, like, I get actually, it. it wasn't designed for anybody besides the military. <laughs> it's basically it. Yeah. 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 yeah so, I don't. I don't yeah. see its its purpose. Well, <clears throat> again, I, I I like the I like the sight radius of a five. I like the five inch gun way better, even with the full size grip. Uh, give me the longer sight a radius. Red sight makes, a red dot sight makes sight radius completely invalid. How many police units are using red dots right now? I can't imagine that like many. A ton of cops. Ah, I can't like imagine that many cops, cops using them. It's, again, this isn't for the beat cop. This is like more along the lines of like SWAT. a SWAT cop. Yeah, and they do and, and they do special things. And they're fighting guys. close up, right, Patrick? From from my knowledge I mean, of speaking to those guys, they're fighting close yeah, up. Yeah, but like the thing about it, though, man, like with a red dot, shots out to 100, 150 yards ain't hard. Yeah. Um. So now the Tyvan show, Patrick R, who also carries your name, Roberts. The Tyvon Show. He says the best way to fix a Glock is to sell it or buy something else. You should never own a gun that's made of plastic. <laughs> oh, that's your that's nuts. your people, Patrick. That's your people. Spoke of place of true ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Roberts are known for their, uh, <laughs> you know. That was good. I liked it. Yeah. So there you go. That's that's Tyvon sneaking it in there. Um, so Patrick, how do you so how do you predict this is going to sell? When when are we actually going to see this gun in stores? Uh, it's going to be in stores January twenty second, I think. <laughs> when okay. shot starts, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. right where shot show starts, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think they did the same thing with the stupid MOS guns too. Yeah, yeah. And in in uh, uh, you know, for, wait wait uh, wait, the MOS guns are stupid. Well, for full this, why what why do you think? Because they, they can have a red dot. I feel like the that the, the red dot I just heard was the greatest thing ever. I didn't say they were stupid. <laughs> oh, that's okay. MOS guns. Yeah, that was that was Walter saying, yeah, it's stupid. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> somebody else said it's just, so, no, so it's just no, saying, that's not how I heard it. Oh. We're gonna have to roll this <laughs> back. They're not. Somebody <laughs> said something was dumb because of the timing of everything. Oh, oh, okay. are awesome. They're yeah. awesome. And by the way, you know, um, I, I was one of the special people that got the MOS first, so <laughs> I can't complain about it. <laughs> one second. <laughs> but that's but the, but that's really just what's going on here. I mean, that's just how things go down from Glock, man. They, uh, yeah, they they're just not going to do massive upgrades, people. Well, and this is something that I, they did work on. They might, and 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 it's really out there. There's nothing like I'm not even sure why they're doing like a silhouette and all that kind of stuff because it's all this data is out there already. Other than, of course, we're here talking about it, right? Uh, so we're, yeah, we're, we're ginning it up right now. See, oh, all right. I do have other Glocks here too. Yeah, I've got all three new ones. Oh, oh, excuse me. So you've got the uh, you've got the new Gen Five ones as well. I do. Oh, awesome, awesome. Go ahead, show them to us. I got to switch the back uh, the back plates. So I've, for whatever reason, Glock put a stupid thing on the inside of the Gen Five guns, presumably to remove the ability to put a sear in it. Oh, they're no fun. Come on. Yeah, you haven't seen that, Walter? No. No. Uh -huh. Okay, show us the back. No fun switchability? That's no fun. I think Hank's the only one that has a Gen 5. No, uh, Patrick says he's got the uh, the two new Gen 5s. The no, no, no. I'm yeah. saying out of out of the the normal group here, Hank's. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I think you're the only one that has a Gen 5. Um, don't you have the Gen 5 right now, Numbnuts? 
I do actually. It's yeah, like, so I forgot how you give it back to you. Yeah. About? I told you about it in the garage. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, well, do you see the uh, the stupid bump right there? Yeah. Like yeah. to the this thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, it's extends yeah, so out. I, yeah, for whatever reason, they decided which is not easy. They decided to add a piece on there that like I'm assuming prevents the use of an auto sear or something. I'm not really sure what the hell it does other than piss me off. <laughs> no, I, that'd be a reason I wouldn't buy one then. <laughs> so, all right. So yeah, I was back. Let me, let me put this Glock back together. So uh, your prediction for the X19 is good. They're going to sell a crap ton, right? Uh, oh, it, it, oh, yeah. No, I don't think so. I don't think they're going to really? sell like an amazing amount. Oh, so you uh, think it'll just I be think, law enforcement sales only? No, no, no. I think you'll see some civilians buy them. Um, I don't think you're going to see a ton of people buying them. Uh, it's just not a mass market gun. They're going to sell more Glock 26s and uh, you know 34s. I think they're probably going to sell more 34s than the 19X. Most how people many? aren't going to get why the 19X is good. No, Patrick. How 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 many of those do you? And I know they're probably running them off the mills, but how many of those did they make? Like how many are ready to go? I saw pallets of them when I was at Glock. That's really? all I can tell you. <laughs> yeah. I'll be curious. Pallets. <laughs> like, will they, yeah. will, they, will they stop after one big massive run and then, you know, starve you out for them? I was just curious about that. That's a possibility. That's a possibility. I think right now for Glock, it's basically like printing gold. Yep. So this is the, this is the Gen 5 Glock 26. Yep. Exclusively so, shown here by Patrick. If there's a video on, on my channel, come on now. Yeah. No, no, it's exclusive. It's only on this channel. <laughs> I, I feel like that's not how this works. No, if you want to find out more, of course you could go check it out on the firearm rack. Yeah. Um, so I kind of dig this little thing a lot. It's just a Glock Gen 5 26, though. Those are, those are I, I always was a fan of the 26. Um, just the Glock 43 has like maimed me to, to other Glocks. Yeah. I guess we need to well, change that. Yeah. I, uh, and, and what about going the other way? Um, Babyface brought this up. What about giving us like a shorter uh, pistol grip and a longer barrel like a lot of people do? Do you not have uh, – does Babyface Why? not have like a saw at home? A saw? Chop the grip. <laughs> Just I'm going to chop the grip, grip right off, off of mine. <laughs> Some, yeah, yeah. Um, that's what that's there? what my brother did with his. He just chopped it down. Did he that's, legit yeah, do that? Yeah, yeah. I think I've haven't I shown you guys a picture no, of that before? I need to see that though. Yeah, anonymous yeah. just chopped the crap, dude, just chopped it down, dude. Chopped Patrick, you that thing for a long time. Yeah. Patrick, do all the all the Gen fives have that block in it you were showing us? Yes. Okay. All the ones I've seen, uh, the nineteen X, the uh, twenty six, and the thirty four all have that stupid block in it. I'm not sure what it's for though. Okay. Yeah, and I forgot I'll, to ask. I'll, 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 walk, the, I'll, I'll go to the Glock booth and just say, hey, what's that extra piece you added in there for? What did you do that for? See what they say. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, I'm really excited about this one. This So this is the MOS 34. Yep. Um, yeah. I'll make that bigger so I can see if I... Uh, yep. This is the MOS 34. Interestingly, it doesn't have a cutout on the top of the slide. Not really sure why. Okay. But... Um, what red dot do you have on that? Now uh, that's a shield RDS or RMS. Okay. okay. Now can I? Can you put this on? Can you put Ooh. this on the Glock Twenty Six lower frame? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's a big. Can, 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 can the Glock Twenty Six mags fit in the bottom of that gun? I need to know for for reasons. <laughs> Actually, I'm curious. Yeah, let's see, dude. There's I no really way. want to see this. They should not fit. <laughs> if this works, I will buy them now. They should no. definitely not work together. <laughs> you never know. Drum roll, please. Oh, jeez. <laughs> work. Thank you. You got a big that old lip out the front of it. Oh, boy. Hey, look. I've got a uh, Glock fist frame. Yeah. Now put the no put the um. That's a put compensator. The, put the it's thirty-four nice. slide on the twenty-six body. Oh body. dear God! <laughs> yeah, oh yes. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Well, well, actually, this, I don't think it'll actually work. Please work. I'm yes. praying. Oh yes! Oh <laughs> my God! Yes, baby, There's your it. answer right Hold there. That that's, that's what that's I awesome. need. <laughs> that is what I need. Hold that closer to the camera, please. Oh God! They need to send me one of those. Hold it up a little bit. There you go. 
You there realize is, that yeah. Lone Wolf has been building spacers to yeah. put is it? Like Whoa. 17 yeah. slides on to, or uh, 19 slides on a 26 frames forever, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they have? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's a little spacer that you can get that you like clip in here and like it covers the spring. From Lone Wolf. Okay. I've never seen it on this. I, I, think, it's, I think it's Lone Wolf or Glockstore or something. Oh, we, uh, awesome. to you, you need to, you need to take that. a picture of that and Instagram it right now. Or to just text it to me. I'll Instagram it. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, wait. He blocked us. He put the, he, he put the cloth over the Exclusive the content. Cover. He put the cover over no, the camera. No, no, no. I'm saying goodnight to my kid. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Awesome. Yeah. But he's more important than any of you. Absolutely. Uh, Amen. The kids no, are. No, the 26 more isn't going to work. No, nah, that doesn't work. But that yes. worked. You need to post that on Instagram right now. Uh, it does not work either. Oh. Okay. Damn it. Oop. Uh oh. Oh. Hopefully it comes <laughs> apart. Send it back to Glock. Um, use a hammer. <laughs> uh, I will be. Dissolve a Glock uh, and hide it. I will be. Yeah. So you're going to be drop testing these. I just they install right down the middle. It'll fix it. I already did it. Yeah. I already dropped tested. You did. Fine. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Um, any news on the um, on the honor guard? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. They uh, are making noise like they're going to pretend like something's wrong with it, and you know, I, I haven't really seen anything that suggests that they're going to do something about it, though. Okay. Well. All right. Well. Okay. Um, Kevin, do you have any questions or anything you want to add here before we wrap up? Oh, no, I was curious about um, how many of those 19X is going to be out, but we answered that. Oh, oh, I know I got my tagline wrong. Oh, um. Yeah, uh, I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't think it's going to be a continued run. I think we're going to see them get their money out of the uh, development. What you call it? Uh, yeah, get the development money out of it, and mm -hmm. then they're going to kill the line off, might bring it back for like a summer special at some point. Um, I, don't, I don't foresee it being a long term seller. Because I just, I don't know. They still sell. Do they still sell Gap? Uh, Forty-five Gap. They do. Every, every now and then you can find one. Yeah. I don't the know. Had them for like wicked cheap. They were like two hundred and fifty bucks for them. Where? <laughs> Who had them? It was like Aim Surplus had police trade-in ones for like two fifty or two eighty. Yeah. And I wonder it why. Like, it took them a while to sell because nobody wants a forty-five Gap. <laughs> wonder why. Well. Yeah. yeah it's kind of crap. But um, no, I, I still think that the uh, whether or not Babyface wants to admit it, I still think that there is a place for the 19X. And I think that uh, if you swing by the ATEI SHOT show booth, this is a hint for you guys going to SHOT, um, you might see this gun hanging out there and you might see why I think it's cool. Once you put your hands on it, it, like, it doesn't make sense unless you put your hands on the gun and you feel how it's balanced, you feel how it feels in your hand. With that Gen Five sorta of grip, so okay, hmm. okay, cool. Uh, not a four outdoors. No, the mags are not proprietary. All right, awesome. You know what? Let's let's wrap up here. Lola's telling me we got to wrap up, but we will. Uh, Patrick R, you're coming on sometime. I don't know if you've made. Have you made plans? I, no, no, we haven't. Um, I have been really busy. Okay, so we'll make plans. Patrick will be on. I think Derek Gray is coming on on. Uh, Friday or 50 Tactical? Yeah, okay. Uh, they're coming on on Friday. Tomorrow night is Rob Pincus. And by the way, Patrick, these guys don't know who Rob Pincus is. Oh, uh, tell him he uh, owes me money. Oh. <laughs> who doesn't know who Rob Pincus is? Uh, I have never heard Baby of him. Babyface and Walter. You guys have never he's heard of Rob? Oh, dude. No, he's the bald guy. I, I've seen his videos before about something. You, um, he's coming on tomorrow, Patrick, so... <laughs> It's he's a possibility. I'll, follically I'll challenged. Him. He's not bald. He's follically challenged. Hey, hey, I'm the same way. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they, yeah but Pinkus does like bald sexy though. Oh. Oh, Lola's telling me that Derek Gray is 50% tactical. Okay. Can you just write the stuff properly, woman? <laughs> write it. Write it. Write it. Write it properly. Uh, anyway, I know. Yeah. Okay. I should have made that connection. Okay. So 50% tactical is coming on. Derek Gray. Rob Pinkus is going to be on tomorrow. Let's wrap it up here. Okay. Patrick. Babyface Patrick, Babyface P. Yeah. Go ahead. You get your final thoughts right here. <laughs> um, so so my, my tagline says it all, I think. <laughs> if, 19X, uh, more say? like Glock 19X. Like. 
Uh, if I'm kicking indoors, I'm taking my Benelli M4 and not a Glock 19. Else. Okay, there you go. Okay, that's that's the final thoughts of Babyface. Thank you, uh, Kevin. Go ahead, since you're just next in the line. Okay, well, you can um, when you guys hop off of here, and after you get through commenting and sharing and all that stuff, if you want, hop on over to NRA TV on uh, Facebook and on YouTube, and you can watch my segment I just did with the season six yeah. New World wrap up. Uh, and stay tuned, the social medias, uh, all that stuff. So uh, I appreciate the Patreons, and I have been interacting and giving discount codes and stuff to them. So if you want to become Ooh. a Patreon, it's a uh, um, Patreon backslash NOC Firearms. So please go support. Uh, that's with the whole Amy for the Truth. Uh, Amy for the Truth now does have a GoFundMe as well. I uh, just haven't talked about it yet, but it's GoFundMe backslash Amy for the Truth. Uh, you guys already know what that event's all about. Um, KD of NOC is where I really need everybody on Facebook to start going. That's the KD of NOC on YouTube. Of course, it's NOC Firearms channel. And if you're looking for a little inspiration, a little pickup or a kick in the ass, um, get your life moving, go check out the last video I just put up. Um, and Instagram is NOC Firearms Training. And then Twitter is NOC Firearms. So uh, the big news is Amy for the Truth is going on the road. And if Hank doesn't get back to me about Gainesville, we're going to have an issue. Um, but we do have um, a certain cities lined up. I'm going to wait till next month to actually um, list all the dates. I'm trying to get coordinated with everybody now. So we'll have that going on. That's going to be fun. And then other than that, I look forward to the, what we got, 20 days to SHOT Show? Whatever yeah. it is. Man, Absolutely. Don't That's remind sweet. me, man. Don't remind me. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to work that <laughs> out. Listen, uh, uh, at SHOT Show, um, we're... Uh, the the same hotel that you're going to be in, uh, KD, is going to be the whole Big Daddy Guns crew. So okay. that will get worked out during okay. Shot Show, along okay. with a whole bunch of other things. So, um, and let's, uh, Walter, do you want to go next? Sure. Absolutely. So what's going on with you? What you got? Oh, just on? getting ready for Shot, you know, getting things together and making sure we have everything done. Um, try to get some Instagram, some Facebook up for you guys. Uh, working on, hey, we got pistol barrels in production right now. Or the, awesome. or the pistol barrels 50 so uh, wow hells, yeah i'm, I'm uh, sure you, you better be making me one the first batch of 10. Mm -hmm. um yeah is that what you want yeah all right, all right. i want but, it yeah. all i want all positions <laughs> I, I, I yeah I, heard, I know where that's from now so you know. <laughs> yeah yeah okay um so do i but anyways yeah so we're doing the yeah, instagram facebook just keep an eye on things and when we get the when we get the shot we'll be doing a bunch of that stuff too so yeah, and uh, at SHOT Show, everyone, uh, come check out the Safety Harbor Firearms booth. Yeah, what booth number is that? 220613. There you go. I'll be there. Um, Katie will be there. Uh, we'll we'll invite Patrick R. Hopefully, he'll show up. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, he yeah. Won't everybody's, go, everybody's welcome. Stop by. Yep, yep. Yeah, we, he Who won't knows? be all too highfalutin on us, but we will be there. <laughs> we'll be giving away stuff. I'm, so. I am I am the furthest from highfalutin, sir. <laughs> I know. Highfalutin swag. I, I, I am a lowfalutin. Okay, so we will all be there doing our lowfalutinery. <laughs> lowfalutinery. So, yeah, so there you go. That's a nice word. I like that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Patrick, I will give you kind of like the last word here, you know. So. <laughs> no, no, you're here. You're, oh. you're here. It's not going to happen. Like, it's not going to be the last word. You, you have to have that. Um, all right. So you can uh, find me on Instagram at the, uh, the Patrick Roberts right here. You can email me here. If you go to firearmrack.com, uh, you can, like, read stuff or go to youtube.com slash firearmrack and watch my video on all three uh, – Blocks that just were released, as well as the Armor Guard drop test where it failed miserably, and other cool shit like breaking the P10C and shooting 100 steel poppers and a bunch of other things. Um, so, uh, oh, I do want to say, uh, tell everybody I did pick up a channel sponsor, a uh, one of the channel sponsors that I've been talking with. Uh, so, uh, Excess Sites, if you want Excess Sites, use the code RAC10, get 10% off. Awesome, cool. Absolutely. And you know what? I encourage everyone to go check out uh, the firearm rack. You know, Patrick, in my opinion, does someone needs to I, I like his opinion. I like the way he gives it, even though, you know, we argue for, with it and all that. That's what makes it awesome to me. You know, you well, still yeah, got the Christmas for, for, tree. For, yes, man. Look at that. Like, I'd leave it up year round. It looks awesome. It does look good. 
living room yeah. definitely looks good. I don't so, know what the etiquette is on that. I don't think we even put up the Christmas care. tree this year. Oh, it's my the etiquette is it's my fucking house, and I'm gonna put it up there as long as I want to. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Absolutely. Amen to that. Amen to that. So tomorrow, Rob Pincus, guys, uh, please join us for that. I want to thank everyone for watching, and of course, uh, you know, sticking with us through the little break that we had. We're back now. We're gonna be on Thursday, Friday. Uh, we're going to come back next week, Monday. Um, we're back to like putting up videos every day. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming at you. Please join us tomorrow. Thanks, everyone, for joining in here. Thanks for everyone that looks out for us. Uh, sponsors us on Patreon. It's Patreon slash Hank Strange. Um, you know, I want to thank all the people that sponsor the channel. At this point, we're talking about uh, this dude right here, Safety Harbor Firearms. Of course, Andrews Custom Leather. And uh, Big Daddy Guns, you know, Big we Daddy. couldn't do this without Big Daddy Guns. We've got lots of stuff coming out with Big Daddy Guns um, coming up here in the very near future. So, um, and I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but I officially have a day job now. I it actually, yeah, I'm like an executive at Big Daddy Guns. <laughs> Seriously, no kidding. He's the washroom executive. <laughs> yeah, I so clean, for, I clean, I clean the bathrooms. Charged, <laughs> Chief charge in sanitary engineer. <laughs> That's right. Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm up to. So over I have here. that. I have that title too, so don't feel bad. Yeah, <laughs> Chief Cook and Bottle Washer. There I do all of that. <laughs> no, I actually do have a thing of Big Daddy Guns, and it's going to be beneficial to I think a lots of people in our community as well as well as other communities out there. We're going to roll all that out to you guys. That just, but, that just reminded me of another subject. I, I want to talk to you about but okay we'll talk about it as soon as we yeah, well, i'll say it's yeah. about four, it's about 4 30 i have a question oh okay awesome we'll talk about that off air then yep um and so see everyone thanks for joining us we're out of here see you guys uh, whoa, whoa, have a whoa. great hey. 2018 what's up patrick hey tomorrow we've got rob pinkus on yeah remember his last name is a lot funnier if you uh, misspell one letter by uh, five. <laughs> I'll try to remember you told him that. <laughs> so actually, I'm looking forward to Pincus being on. So, no, he's a great guy. It'll be awesome. Yeah. You know, uh, we'll come up with a slogan like take a Pincus in the stinkus or something like that. <laughs> we'll come up with some kind of slogan for, <laughs> for Rob. Make it to a t-shirt for your freedom. Hours. Make a t-shirt <laughs> for, for Pincus. <laughs> Yeah, we oh, can call it Pinkus and the Stinkus. It'll be awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, we're out of here. Everyone on the panel, stay here. Thanks a lot, guys. We're See out of here. See you tomorrow. Peace. Bye-bye. Peace.